so much for coming today. Wait, you want me to throw potatoes at you? Isn't that kind of kind of lethal? Oh, but why? Why? Right off the bat. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean, JK? You actually redeemed it. Okay, look, give me a sec. I have to open the package. <laughs> Take a look, let me see. Wonder if it's gone soft. It's been very warm in my room the, the past two days. So let me see. No, they still look good. They still look good. I'm, I'm gonna do a bigger spoon. I'm trying to get through it. I'm trying to finish it. I still have like, um, maybe like three or four spoons. Let me pour some more. Let me pour some more. Come on, come on, Mika. Just do a whole bunch. Just do a whole bunch. I think you'd be fine. You always say that! Yeah, oh, okay. I have a, a pretty big spoonful. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So far, it's okay. It's just like... No. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! <laughs> Poppin. <laughs> I, I'm I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Grand Grand Sip Sip. Okay, I really hope this does not pop the pot rocks even more. Okay. <laughs> the moment I drank the water, it's like a volcano popped off in my mouth. <laughs> I know. What timing, Green Bull? What timing? <laughs> Sure. Ru Wait, you gave me feet? What do you... Wait, what? Wait, Jideo, is that your... Jideo, is that your emote? No, it, wait, why does it say Jideo 4? Is that your emote? I never realized you had... Oh my gosh, you... you Okay, it took me a second because my my chat background um, on OBS is black, so I didn't see the feet. And now, oh my god, now I'm like a caterpillar. You, <laughs> what? Wait, that means you have it. How come? How come you have? Why do you have these emotes? What do you usually use them for? I need answers, Jideo. I need answers. What do you usually use that for? Why do you? Why do you have that in your storage? Sus. <laughs> Maybe you're the caterpillar all along. <laughs> Kendo! Wait, you made them? Wait, you drew that? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take a look at it again. You drew that? Oh my gosh! <laughs> that, that, that looks so good! In a cursed way! You should keep it! But not for me! But, but you should keep it! But not for me! <laughs> and yes, how the turntables... So we're playing more, um, one bit hard today. And also, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit low energy. I'm slowly getting a bit more energetic. It's just I spent the whole day being so useless today that I ended up having not a lot of energy. Like, I completely... I had today off, so I just potatoed the whole day. I... I did nothing but play vid video games and nap. I would... Boop! Feel better from your show. Oh, yeah, I, ha I got my flu shot. My you know, it's honestly, it's okay. Um, the COVID shot, like, hurt a lot. But the flu shot is, like, a very mild arm pain. And I'm touching my arm. I'm touching my arm right now. It's, like, 95% gone. I didn't feel ill at all. I'm really glad I got my flu shot. It's it's something that I've been wanting to get since, like, last month. But they keep... <laughs> Thank you, Kendo. Thank you. But they, they kept running out. 
and it's funny. I was not expecting to get it. I went to the pharmacist. I, I went to the pharmacy that day, and I checked online in the morning that said they were out of stock, which was fine. I had to go nearby to do something anyways. So I went to the pharmacist and I was like, um, excuse me, I know that you don't have any flu shots in stock today, but do you know when? And she goes, yeah, we do. I'm like, what? She's like, we have fl we have flu shots in stock. I'm like, but but your website this morning said you don't. Yeah, we literally just restocked it. Oh, uh, can I get one? She's like, yeah, just register over there and go take a seat. Oh, okay. And then I, I went there just to ask a question. And then within 10 minutes, I got my flu shot. <laughs> It was so funny because I was so excited. I went inside and I sat on the chair and the pharmacist was like, yeah, you getting the flu shot? Flu shot? I'm like, yes! He's like, okay, well, let me get, get, like, you know, give you the shot. I'm like, okay! And then I like, I turned my head away and I started shaking. And he's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm afraid of shots. <laughs> like, I'm actually really scared of needles. Not to the point where I'll faint. But they make me really nervous, so I always have to look away and I start like shaking in anticipation. But I'm always the first one to like run to get my shot. I'm running to get scared because I, I still think it's a good thing to get. <laughs> but it was... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> did I tell you? Did I tell you all how one time I went to get my flu shot? And I think I looked so visibly scared that the next day the pharmacist called me to make sure I was okay. And I knew it was specific to me because my friend went with me to get her shot as well. And it was the same pharmacist, but the pharmacist didn't call her. Like she only called me. And all she said was, hi, this is the pharmacist who uh, gave you the flu shot yesterday. Just want to make sure, are you okay? And I thought, what, from the side effects? I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. She's like, oh, okay, good, good. Just want to make sure. I think she was afraid I fainted on my way home or something because I look so scared. <laughs> That was really nice of her. Like, she really went out of my way to make sure I was okay. And, you know, major props to all the healthcare professionals out there, especially, like, during these times where it's especially stressful. Like, on that note, uh, without going into too much details, I actually went to the emergency room uh, a short while ago. It was not me. I, I accompanied a relative. And she was okay. It turned out to be a false alarm, but we had to go there just to make sure. And we were there for like hours because there's a long wait time. But the healthcare professionals, like the nurses and doctors and anyone, everybody else there were so patient and so kind, even though they were obviously overwhelmed. Like there were a lot of people in the waiting room, but they still took time to like explain any procedure they were about to do like they're like okay we're about to take your blood sample because we want to make sure like this and this and that and the results will show this and this and that like they didn't just come and be like all right i'm taking your blood sample but they actually like told us every time like what they're about to do how they're gonna how they're gonna do it and why they're gonna do it and they were like so calm and reassuring and honestly they they're busy i don't expect them to like tell us all this stuff i expect them to just be like okay i'm gonna take your blood sample now okay thanks we'll get back to you and i completely understand so for them to actually take the time to like reassure us and like, let us know what was going on i was i was really touched and like me and my relative like kept thanking them just major props and it was in the middle of the night as well i was there from like 9 p.m. to like 3 a.m. I was so sleepy myself. I was so tired. You know I sleep at 9. So I was just sitting in, on in the chair like nodding off. I was so sleepy. <laughs> and also I wasn't even sure why I was there. <laughs> I think my relative just wanted company. But realistically there wasn't a whole lot I could do. She spoke English fine. So it's not like she needed me to talk to her. But yeah I guess it gets kind of scary when you're in the hospital. And I saw a lot of interesting patients and uh interesting interactions the paramedics had with the patients <laughs> like 2 a.m emergency room is the equivalent of uh what do you call it waffle house at 3 a.m apparently interesting things happen at waffle house at, like overnight i don't know i've never been to waffle house before still pretty bad for me. yeah i heard there is like a what is it called like a respiratory uh thing going around that's especially impacting kids so I hope everybody stays safe and take care of yourself the, the best way you can. Why? I like... 
I, well, I'm okay with waffles, but I'm really interested. People say a lot of... It's really... What what kind of bad? Are you saying the food is bad? The establishment? Like, hygiene is bad? The customers are bad? Or... Okay, let's see who I can befriend. Okay, I befriended that guy already. Oh, hi, Muffin! Thank you. Thank you for the one bit. It's one bit heart, right? Is that why? Are you referencing the game? Owner? Wait, what? Waffle House owner? I just know that they never close even... Is it because one bit hard, Muffin? What? Muffin? 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 It? No, need Muffin? It? What? It? Muffin? Confusion. Puggers. What about... What about... Muffin? What about Danny's? How do you feel about... Muffin, Muffin, do you want to say something instead of quietly tossing one bit? Okay, let's try befriending her this time. Danny, okay? No, I'm good. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> Proceeds to continue one bidding. Mu mu muffin? Mu muff muffin? Muffin? It? Not Nani? It? It? Oh, 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 eh, uh, uh, th thank you for the one bit, 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 one bit. I sound like I'm glitching out. One bit, one bit, one bit, one bit, one bit. Ah, okay. Do you have a question? Let me see. Okay, let me see. Let me find out more about her. Muffin bro. <laughs> do, do, do you have like a specific budget of one bit you're hoping to accomplish? Like 10? Because I think you went way over. One bit hard. <laughs> Yeah, I went one bit hard. Yeah, I, I I think you one bit it enough. What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Yes, one bit hard. Oh, they set the title drop. <laughs> hey, thank you, Muffin. Thank you. No, <laughs> no, no. Keep your bits for for other better uses. No, don't use them on me. Thank you. Uh, 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 uh. Hi, Sylph. Good morning. I have infinite... How can one have infinite bits? Did you hack into the system? Did you hack into the mainframe? Good morning. Wait, what does... Does Bez... Isn't he the Amazon guy? Is Amazon... Does Amazon own Twitch? I don't know who owns what. What are you having for breakfast today, Sylph? Oh, okay. You know, everybody owns everybody else. I honestly don't really know anymore. Like, when I found out that Tim Hortons is not even Canadian, I just lo lost all hope. Chicken curry? That's so nice! Is it the non- the non-spicy kind? My mom makes this chicken curry that's not spicy. It's really good. This is Sekyu, a guide at 307 Tower. Her words are polite, but she can be suddenly mean. No, only a few company. Yeah, I think... Even, um... Like, like the internet ISPs, there's a couple ISPs that actually are owned by one company. So, we found out that when one company went down and then all these other companies went down. Like, that's when we realized, oh, they all serve... Like, they all do, like, the same, uh, what's it called? Server, whatever you call it. Oh, thank you for the hydrate! It was like that... It wasn't there like this great uh, Rogers outage and then other companies also went down with it. What's AWS? <clears throat> Thank you for the stretch! <sighs> Amazon Web Services? Wait, define everything. Define everything. Do you mean they also own like Rogers and uh, eBay and... Indigo. I'm, I'm trying to think of random websites. She likes busy stuff and stuff that could be useful for work. No, talk about back end of websites. Ah, uh, okay. Forgive my ignorance. What does back end of websites mean? Do you mean the server that owns the websites? I, I don't know what back end means. She likes busy stuff. What is a fizzy stuff? The website's butt? <laughs> uh... Explain. 
Amazon runs like 30% of the internet? When you say internet, you don't mean ISP, right? You don't mean the ISP portion of the internet. You mean... What else could be there other than ISP? What? Look, I'm not a big techie, okay? Why? I'm trying to learn! I'm actively trying to learn! That's why I'm asking questions! Yeah? ISP connects you to the... In yeah, but... But Amazon doesn't own the ISPs, right? So the internets, like, each ISP have their own internet. Internet service provider. Yeah, it's kind of like when you go to McDonald's and they provide you with cheeseburgers. But the cheeseburgers from McDonald's is different from the cheeseburgers made in, like, uh, uh, like, Ikea or something. Wait, does Ikea have cheeseburgers? But, you know, like, same thing, but from different companies? Websites need to be stored on servers. And... So I can only connect... Well, if you are... Yeah, if you are, are using Verizon, that's why if you switch ISP, they have to change your router, right? And usually, websites don't own their own servers. They rent the space from Amazon and other companies? Is this an equivalent to, like, taxi drivers who rent out the taxis so they don't own the taxis, but they use the taxis and they get money from it? Like, they, they use the taxis and they charge you, but they don't actually own the taxis. And then Amazon is like the equivalent of the the company that makes the taxis and rent it out to taxi drivers. Is that a correct metaphor? That's busy stuff. Most tax. Oh, really? Oh, oh. And they oh, okay. I don't know why I thought that they don't. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to expand them. Wait. If they are owned by the drivers, what happens when they retire? What do they do with it? Can you drive a taxi as like a private car? Is that legal? Okay, what is something fizzy? I'm trying to find something fizzy to give to her. Fizzy, fizzy, fizzy. What's fizzy? Is it like a drink that's fizzy? Okay, I'm guessing she likes a uh, soda cider. I'm guessing fizzy doesn't mean something fuzzy, but an actual fizzy drink. I like... That's why... What? What is a silly question? I'm trying to learn! Why? No, no, don't tell pastry. Also, I don't think pastry would be, like, confused or surprised. <laughs> okay, so I learned something new today. Because ISP, everyone always talks about how, oh, like, my ISP's internet is slow, and I'm struggling with my ISP right now. So if they all come from the same internet, then how come some have different speeds and some are bad? He's your friend, he knows how your brain works. What, what, what would telling him accomplish, though? <laughs> what are you hoping he'll do? Oh, I got the right thing. The ISP is the infrastructure. So, yeah, like, like the taxi thing, right? So, the taxi is the infrastructure. Uh, but some taxi drivers don't own the taxi. So, Amazon rents out the taxis to the taxi drivers who provides taxi services. What? No, I thought that was a pretty good metaphor. Think highways. What what do What do you mean by highways? The ISP owns the cables and poles and stuff. They own the cable too? Wait, what about electricity? What about do do like electricity like you know when you get ele electric bills, do they own the electricity or is it the same thing where they're renting the electricity from someone else to charge us? You're the car driving on the highway to the internet. Uh-huh. That is none other. <laughs> I, I'm trying to link them to make it easier. Your tiny thumb skin. Oh, you're on your smartphone. I don't have one, so I wouldn't know how hard it is to type on a smartphone. I don't have a smartphone. Google... Explain like I'm five ISP. Okay, not right now. I'll do. I'll do it later. <laughs> okay, I'll try to learn about ISP later. No, I'm streaming, bro. Make a time to up upgrade what my ISP. You've spent. Yeah, that's why we shouldn't spend any more. We shouldn't spend any more. Let's let's continue befriending Seku. That is none other than soda cider. The absurdly harsh carbonated acid is addicting. For me, I see. I'll gladly accept. 
Oh, okay. So spam her with soda. Got it. Okay. Are we friends yet? I upgraded my ISP and ended up... Oh, d I heard that you should regularly go to another ISP's... What did it call it? Re retention... Retention department and be like... I might switch if you don't offer me a better deal. And because they want you to stay, they'll give you a better deal. I'm, I'm too lazy. I've never done that. But I've heard of that tip to get a better deal. Or like price matching. That's why you should always pay attention to what other ISPs are offering. Especially to like first time customers. It's not always a vertical movement. What? You sometimes upgrade but you spend more? No, I, I have never canceled a service before. They can... I have heard that they will do anything... I have heard they say that, um... You should tell them you're going to an area with no coverage. Otherwise, they will be very, very persistent. Which I guess makes sense, because they, they want to keep making your money, right? You know, speaking of ISP... Did I... I probably mentioned this a couple times before, but I don't... I don't have a smartphone. I'm using a, um... Well, they call it dummy phones, but... Dummy phones, but I don't like that... I don't like that wording, but... I'm using a non-smartphone and I'm actually paying more than you would expect on a monthly plan. Like, I've told my friends how much I pay and they are surprised. And I've been told by a couple people, including Pastry, that it's because they want to phase me out. Like, they don't want people... They don't want people to keep using non-smartphones, so they purposely make it really expensive. I don't have data. Obviously, I don't have data because... Why would I need data? But the amount I pay is equivalent to some smartphone prices. Kind of silly. Time to upgrade. No! If I upgrade, I spend even more. Incidentally, Nanashi, I see you have been stubbornly attempting to talk to me. Do you have some business? I get calls. You get calls every week? I, mean, oh, I have never gotten calls from my ISP before. I think they text message me once in a blue moon, but thankfully they've never called me. I don't think I can handle like in-person telemarketers. I, I would be so awkward. I got true unlimited. Oh, nice. Uh, well, my phone plan has unlimited texting, but honestly, I don't need it. It's really hard to text on my phone. So I don't think I do more than five text messages a month, but they only have, th that's like the only plan they have for non-smartphone. It's uh, unlimited text messaging um, Canada-wide. My father used... Oh, so he, he can probably hook you up to some nice deals. Um, I spent like 20 bucks for my phone for unlimited... When you say you spend 20 bucks for your phone, do you mean you pay $20 extra a month and you have to be in a contract for like two or three years to pay off your phone? Because I know that's what my friends do, so they don't have to pay for a new phone. Um, I want to be... F no? Your phone total cost 20 bucks? Is it a smartphone? This is an old... Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Then you should never change if it's a grandfathered plan. Because that means you'll never get it again. $23.99 a month? They want you off? How can they possibly entice you to change your plan when it's so good? Like, are they offering you anything better? Because I don't see how can you beat that. That's less than how much I pay. Like, I, all I can say is that's less than how much I pay for my non-smartphone. Yeah, they can't. And I don't think you should. Um, I want to be friends. I must refuse all non-work-related requests. Whoa, shot down. If you have no other business, take your leave. Perhaps you would enjoy a tour of hell. I have to buy phones full price, but it was a distributor pricing contract. Oh, so, oh, okay. So if you want to change your phone, then you do have to buy, like, the phone and then connect it yourself. Mm. You know, another reason why I'm scared of changing plans or changing ISPs... Uh, or, or, wait, what do you call... Is it ISP if it's for your phone? I... P... P? No, no, no. P... P... S... P... S... P... S... P? Phone service provider? Because I think my SIM card, it's probably a different size now. Oh, phone provider. Okay, yeah. I think because I have a feeling that the SIM card in my phone is different from whatever smartphones use. So if I ever want to keep my phone number and I want to change like phone providers, I might be forced to get a new phone and I don't want that. 
I'm overthinking. Well, I'm just trying to... What's a virtual Sims? What... What is that? Isn't that a physical card you put in your phone to keep your phone number? Ow! You just call and connect it? Wait, if I have an old phone with a physical SIM card... Can I turn it into a virtual Sims in a new phone? Hell tour? Hmm... Can I talk to you as a prelude to becoming friends? Making it roundabout will still bring you to the same destination. It sure will! Only for... Oh shucks, I knew that was too good to be true! I knew that was too good to be true! Wait, that means if all the new phones these days use virtual sims... Then I will... Wait, can I even keep my phone number then? Do I have to change my phone number if I ever get a new phone? Because I can't fit my new... Like, I can't fit my old sim card in it? Wait, yes, as in I can still keep my phone number? I keep my... Oh, okay. Well, honestly, other than my phone number, I have, like, nothing else in my phone I need to keep. <laughs> like, I keep a backup of my text messages anyways, and I barely have anybody in my address book. Sim cards carry data. That data can be placed on other sims. Is it possible to put my sim card in, like, a card reader and put a backup of the data in, like, a... Hard drive? Is that a thing? Like an SD card? I must refuse. Wow. It is now my lunch break. I can do anything on my lunch break without issue. Thus, it would be impossible to talk with you. <laughs> oh, hi, Louise Fisk! Uh, we usually just end up talking about a lot of different things in my streams, and I like to learn. I like to learn, so my thumbs ain't having any more. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Muffin. Thank you for teaching me so much. No, no, don't be vulgar. I really appreciate you teaching me about ISPs. I will actually go Google and learn more about it and SIM cards. Although I don't plan on getting a new phone right now because it still works. Muffin. <laughs> oh, Muffin. Wow, really? Then okay, talk with the goal of being friends. Mmm, you drive a hard bargain. If you can grant my request, we shall be friends. I'll do literally anything non-life-threatening. And how are you, Liz Louise Misk? Is Muffin so tired? Like, are your thumbs so tired that you're throwing up? <laughs> I can only imagine. You probably type really fast on your smartphone, right? Because my phone is... I don't know if you... You've probably seen that kind of phone, but it's the ones with like nine buttons in the phone. So if you want to get to the letter C, you have to press like number one three times, like A, B, C. So text messages take forever. I'm doing well. I was an absolute useless potato today. So <laughs> I I'm glad to be streaming. So I'm doing something uh, semi-productive. I've been so useless today. Today's my day off. So... All I did was play video games and take a nap and was a complete potato. <laughs> I was I was actually low energy and I didn't have any appetite. It turns out if you don't do anything, if you don't move, you don't burn calories. If you don't burn calories, you don't feel the need to replenish them. So I I didn't really eat a lot a lot today. <laughs> I hope I hope work is going well for you. Yes, yeah, sweet potato life. I don't super like sweet potato fries, actually. I prefer regular potato fries because... I like my fries more savory. I feel like sweet potatoes are a bit sweet. So it felt more like a dessert than a side. If I'm eating a burger, I want something more... A little bit more plain to go with it. So otherwise, a sweet potato, they feel like either a dessert or a main, main in itself. So... I think same with yam fries. I always mix up yam and sweet potato fries. I've been told they are the same and not the same. I acknowledge your reply and take it into account. But while you say literally anything, I must wonder. Bring it on! Could you teach me how to smile? Smile? The other day, my superior asked if I could smile more. I do attempt to do so, however. Yeah, I've never once seen you smile, Sekyu. They're basically... The oh! Then how come they have two names? But you have only met me a small number of times, Nanashi. Also true. 
I've never seen it, so I can't give advice. Could you try smiling now? I do not believe I can smile immediately upon being told. Mm. Is smiling that high of a hurdle for you, Sekyu? No, I was... joking. <clears throat> I will attempt it. Kendo! Kendo, you, you were lurking and then, and then you, you came back just for that! Kendo! <laughs> okay, sorry, BRB, I have to electrocute myself. Is that the difference? Yeah, yeah. Soda, pop, soft drinks, or Coke. I use all of them. I use all of them because I don't know... I don't know what Canada uses. Because I'm always on the internet, and on the internet, everybody says everything else. So I just kind of absorbed all of them in my language. So sometimes I call it soft drinks. Sometimes I call it pop. Sometimes I call it soda. Sometimes I call it Coke. Yeah, I gotta pop some pop rocks. <laughs> just give me one second. Ah, uh, just do a whole bunch. Just do- Okay, okay, two more spoons full. Two more spoonfuls. Mm. Mm. Uh -oh. I- I'm- Pop rocks, it, it, it was like electrocuting me from inside. <clears throat> How are you, Popo? It, it's hard to say. In the US, pop is kind of a Midwest thing. I think in the South, they call pretty much everything Coke. What about what about soft drinks? Who says soft drinks? Is that a Canadian thing? Besides, ow! Ow! <laughs> Sorry, I hit my shin against the table. Wait, I gotta wail in self pity. Give me like 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, okay. It's fading away. It's fading away. Old people say soft drinks. Oh, is soft drinks an outdated term? Oh, thank you for the thank you for the hydrate. Thank you for the stretch. <laughs> Emotional damage! Wait, why? Who's? Why? Why emotional damage? It's what? Oh, it's soft drinks. Uh, what about carbonated drinks? Do people call them carbonated drinks? But then again, it's not just like soft drinks. There's carbonated water. Did you know there's carbonated milk? There's carbonated milk because you hurt yourself. <laughs> Kendo redeemed it twice. Blame Kendo. Sometimes I say soft drink if the person I'm ordering from... Do, so they understand soft drink and not... The uh, whatever else you were saying. I usually just say the thing I want. So I say like Coke or Pepsi. You know, I have a really, really bad luck. Whenever I go to restaurants and if I say, can I get a Coke? They'll say, is Pepsi okay? If I say, can I get a Pepsi? They're like, is Coke okay? Like I can never accurately guess what, which one of the two do they offer? And somehow I always guess wrong. It's to the point where whenever I go to a new restaurant, I find myself looking around to see if I can see like a Coca-Cola or a Pepsi logo so I can kind of guess. I'm just like... I hope it's Pepsi. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I guessed wrong last time. I, I was like, can I get a Coke? Is Pepsi okay? <laughs> I went to IHOP recently. <laughs> <laughs> with Yoichi. It was so sweet though! Okay, so last time I went to IHOP with Yoichi, they gave me French toast by accident. I ordered pancakes, but it was really, really busy that day. Egg slime! Good morning, goo! Oh! I have to, I have to, since Inky, Inky Slime is here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna announce. Well, I already did, but me and Ink Slime on Thursday, uh, Thursday my time, uh, Friday Ink Slime's time, 
We are doing... We are doing a uh, collab. We're playing a dating game that's made from Kentucky Fried Chicken. The KFC dating game. It's called I Love You, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> and I'm so looking forward to it. <laughs> Can I get a rum and a Coke? Is Pepsi okay? Is it actually okay? I'm sure the rum would go well with Pepsi. Because Coke and Pepsi are the same thing, right? Like, okay, don't don't burn me over the steak, but honestly, they taste the same to me. That's why I don't really care. Just like Sprite and 7-Up, I don't care which one. For me, they're both clear, they're fuzzy, and they taste roughly the same. So I, I don't really have a team for that. You want to go to... Yeah, I hope... Oh, I'm, I'm sure you will one of these days. But conceptually, they're the same. But they always have this like perpetuated rivalry, right? And so, so then they... Yeah, yeah, they, they taste the same. They're both like black and fizzy. So, and sugary. So then I went, they gave me French toast last time. They were really busy. I didn't want to correct them. And I'm like, you know what? It's okay. Hey, <laughs> what? Why? Which team are you on? Which team are you on? I'm playing both teams. Chap's forehead. So then, so then like Yoichi was with me at that time. And I was like, it's okay. Like, I'll just eat the French toast. It was good. Like, I won't. It, it's not bad, but you know that feeling when you're all prepared to get pancakes, but then you got French toast? It, it was like that. So then when I went to, with Yoichi again to IHOP again the other day, uh, I ordered the pancakes, and then Yoichi actually spoke up for me. And she was like, um, last time she was here, uh, she didn't get her pancakes. You guys accidentally gave her something else. Can you please make sure to get her pancakes? The server's like, oh yeah, of course, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, 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 it, like, it, it's okay, it's okay, it happens. And then... And then when he came with our food, he's like, I gave you an extra pancake to make up for the fact that we we didn't give you one last time. I'm like, oh my gosh. So Yoichi speaking up for me got me an extra pancake. <laughs> so I ended up having like three pancakes. It was so good. I actually ate it all. I was so full after that IHOP. I actually didn't eat for the rest of the day. <laughs> like that brunch lasted the whole day. Big pancake. Yeah, I put so much... um. Butter and syrup on it. Yeah, I put so much syrup. It was really sweet. <laughs> I, I also know what you meant. Uh, yeah, it was really sweet. I didn't expect Yoichi to just like suddenly speak up for me. I was like, oh wait, what, what, what? <laughs> and so they gave me the right order this time. I always, when I go to IHOP, I like to get their starter. Because I want a bit of everything. So that comes with uh, scrambled eggs, sausage ham, uh, bacon, hash browns, and usually two pancakes. But I got three that day, and I actually ate the whole thing. Even I was surprised at how much I ate. I was like, holy cow. I even brought Tupperware in case I couldn't finish, but I finished the whole thing. And I was so full that I just went to bed that night without dinner. I was like, oh, I, I ate like an entire day's worth of food. Huh? It is complete. For real? I was being exceedingly real. Ugh. Huh. This is gonna be a tough one. I want to go to Danny's. I think I went to Danny's when I was like a really, really small kid. And then I haven't been there since. Because Danny's is also a breakfast place, right? For IHOP... I, no, not IHOP. For pancakes, I've been going to IHOP. So... I'm really curious what Danny's pancakes would taste like. Was it... Were they the one with like... Grand Slam breakfast or something? Was I not smiling at all? Oh, should I say? Should I? Oh, oh, should I? Shoot, 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 shoot. I think we should be truthful. I don't see a smile, bro. You say I was. It does not appear you think so from your expression. Wait, did I choose the wrong option? If you do fun stuff, I think you'll smile more naturally. Things which are fun. Go outside and take a look, won't you? Uh-huh. I... Wow. Yeah. This ends my lunch break. Thus, I will return to my usual duty. Okay, can we do this next break? Good day. This is 307 Tower Information Window. Do you have a question? Um... Do you have a question? Uh, she really has no desire to do anything outside her break. Nothing. Thank you very much. So I see. Thank you very much. Okay, time to spam her with presents. Okay, just keep sh throwing soda at her. Just keep throwing soda at her until she loves us. Wow, it is now my lunch break. Nanashi, 
You have good timing. Well, you were all... It is my lunch break last time, so I knew when that was. So I came right on time. I see. How very persistent. If I were to pull you, you would stretch like mochi. Oh, you say soda? Wait, Kendo, what kind of soda do you like? Something doesn't sound right there. Yeah. Then we shall go. I leave the destination to you. I was born and raised in this town, so I know most everything about it. Mm. Is there anywhere you can have fun then? Do not worry. I'm already sick of this. That's the opposite of not worrying. Mm -mm. You say it is impossible? Mm. Uh, I'll do the best I can. I shall be the star that makes you smile. Lime or lemon soda? Oh, you know, lately... I've been drinking Sprite with lemon, like a lemon flavor Sprite. It's pretty good. I think now my family only buys Sprite uh, with the lemon flavor in it. I must ask you to repeat those that in words that make sense. I'll just do what I can. Acknowledged. Then I say, let's and go. My mom's been pretty big on A&W root beer lately, but I'm not a big root beer fan, so I've only been drinking Sprite. This is a bit phone shop. <laughs> yep. Sometimes you can get the latest bit phones a few days before street date, and they've got obscure brands too, so people call it an exhaustive bit phone shop. I am the type who is satisfied with bit phones simply serving a practical use. <gasps> me too! Sick you, me too! Root beer floats are the best. I've never had a root beer. You know, you know what I find really interesting, Popo? Is people like. People, people are like grossed out by the idea of uh, pilk. But isn't root beer floats kind of like pilk? You're putting ice cream and coke like like pop together. But ice cream is milk. So when the ice cream melts, isn't that essentially pilk? Yeah, thought so. So you think you might like this new smart i6? What? But, but it's true. Fundamentally, they're the same thing. <laughs> Or even better yet, ink pulp. Orange pulp in milk. Pilk is the combination of milk and Coke or Pepsi. Pepsi and milk. And pulk, P-U-L-K, is the combination of orange pulp in milk. The root beer tend to freeze before they merge. Wait, the root beer is frozen? You freeze? Okay, but when you're having a root beer ice cream float, Surely you'll somehow mix it, right? Say, I put my spoon... I get a spoon of the ice cream and it's floating on the root beer. Then in my spoon is probably some root beer along with my ice cream. Therefore, in my spoon, I have created pilk. You don't mix it, then what's the point of putting them on top of each other? Hmm, you drink? How do you drink ice cream? You wait for it to melt? Hmm, I see. The Smart Eye series focuses on ease of use, thus its functions are relatively simple. Right! Simple cells, but lately they've added so much useless functionality that, rumor has it, users are falling to the ground in despair. I see. A rise and fall. The nerve of them. Aww, mm. I was trying to be cruel like you, but that won't make you laugh, huh? That was an intimidation- that was an imitation of me? Oh, maybe I should have copied your tone too? No, no, no. But if you eat it separately, it's still going... Okay, you see, Popo? You see, Popo? I completely 100% agree. You see why when I tell people that I don't put milk in my cereal, I have it separately? Like, I have a glass of milk with my bowl of cereal. So I take a bite of cereal and I, and I have a drink of milk. But that's effectively the same as putting milk into cereal because they're all the same when it's going in your stomach, right? I want to mix in the mouth. You're reminding me of some interesting YouTube videos I've seen about that. Mm-mm-mm. I'm displeased. Besides, it is, a, it is unnecessary to speak so long in order to perform a put-down. The difference is the texture going down. Are we talking about the root beer float or the cereal? <laughs> then the right answer, please. It is crap. Wow, just three simple words. Wow, just three words, simple. Oh, okay. So the reason why I don't put milk in my cereal 
it's because I don't want to rush eating it because I know that if I don't eat fast enough, the cereal is going to get soggy. Also, once I finish the cereal, I don't know what to do with the milk. I don't want to drink it, but it also feels like a waste because I'm, I am the type that when I eat noodles, I never drink the broth. I always just leave the broth. So for me, the milk is the broth. So I don't drink it. So then I feel like I didn't actually have a lot of milk when I do it. That's why I have it separately. <laughs> what kind of... Why would you be confused by either of that? Yeah, I, do, I don't. Because I feel like, especially if, if you go for like pho or like that, that, that kind of broth. I feel like there's so much sodium and whatever stuff is in there. Like that's where all the, the really salty stuff is. I feel like if I drink it, it's gonna make me more thirsty. Drinking the liquid will make me more dehydrated. No, Kendo, don't lurk! Don't go! I knew it! <laughs> Whenever I eat pho, which is a Vietnamese rice noodles, I always have order uh, ice water. So I'll drink ice water when I when I eat pho because it makes me so thirsty. Huh? You were smiled? That was a smile. Just get a curly straw and make awkward eye contact with people while you drink milk from the bowl with the straw. Have you... Jideo? <laughs> Jideo. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. <laughs> Jideo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kotowaru. Okay. I will tell you why I don't drink the milk broth, but... I don't want to offend people who actually do. That's why I, I've been keeping it vague on why I don't drink the milk. It's like Burger King. Uh -huh. Like, I don't doubt that there is a place like that, but I do feel there's some hidden reasons on why you asked that. Just saying, sus. Yeah, still a little solid, I think. Mm -hmm. I still have not smiled. Oh, but you know, speaking of straw, it reminds me of uh, boba tea. I've never had it before, but they come with those really big straws, so you can also um, like eat the what are what are those balls? What are those? They're like they're like a vegetable, I think. They're I think they're potato balls. Are they yam? I think it's purple. Are, are they made of yam? Is that what boba tea is? Yam balls? I. Okay, I think it's something like that. Like, they're like yam or something. Yep, and then you can like eat while you drink. So I imagine boba tea would be pretty filling because you're also eating something. And I've seen some drinks with a lot of boba in there, so... It's like cereal. <gasps> boba is like Asian cereal, if you think about it. There's milk, there's like... You drink the broth, and there's like cereal bits in there. Huh! Interesting. Cultural cereal. Are you looking for something? You there. The clerk with the wonderful smile. Who? Me? Yes, you. Your smile is radiant. How do you get a smile like that? Mm. My smile? Um, I've never thought about that. One can smile without thinking about it? <laughs> no, in fact, I don't feel like smiles are some something you think about and make. They're natural occurrence. A natural occurrence. Nanashi, do you agree that smiles come naturally? Uh, I, I think so. I see. I see. I was overthinking it. I was unable to see the forest for the trees. Figuring anything out? I suppose so. It is preferable to before. Oh, I'm glad you're making some progress. Yeah. My lunch break will soon end. I'll be taking my leave now. Oh, I'll go with you. Thank you for the help, mister. Okay, come again. Wow. Thank you for to... Wow. Good day. This is the 307 tower information window. Do you have a question? Right. Good luck for next time. Oh, so like right when her lunch break ends, she goes back to... to work mode. She's very professional. This is next time. This is next time. Have some more coke. Wow. <laughs> Lunch break! That is correct. Where will we go to today? I think we'll walk a little today. Would you be okay going a little far? Yeah. As long as it is within the allocated time. 
Then let's go! Ma, ma, ma. This is... Twilight Park! Do you know it? Yes, I played here often as a child, but I see the play equipment has been replaced since. Seems it's been rebuilt a bunch of times! These monkey bars are sparkling! Mm-hmm! The spinning tire equipment is not here. I used to love tire swing as a kid! I used to not get dizzy at all. Like, my favorite thing to do on a tire swing is just, is just sit on a tire swing and just straight up spin. Not have it, like, go up or down or left and right, just straight spin. I made my friend throw up once, but it was purely an accident. But I, I did make my friend throw up once. Like, um, one time my friend... Uh, we're in elementary school, and she's like, Oh, I want to play tire swing. I'm like, yeah, sit, sit in it with me. Like, I'll spin with you. Ow, hi, kid Carl. And she's like, okay. So she sat in the tire swing, and I spun us, like, for about five minutes. And then I was like, how was it? And she's like, I'm gonna get off. Like, she got off the tire swing. Then she, like, leaned against one of the playground equipment, and she threw up. A teacher had to come, like, take care of her. I felt so bad. And that's the time I made my friend throw up. Did you like it? No. I became horribly nauseous from spinning on it. Thus, it is crap. Mm. That's pretty crappy, yeah. <laughs> oh, somebody's here! Raicha! An adult out here during the day. Slacker! Slacker! Nah, props she got laid off. Because of that recessive thingy. Uh. Wow, these children. They are the unbearable brat types I'm worst with. And these two have been doubled. I see myself having headaches for approximately three days. What's that mean, lady? If you're bored, play with us. You betcha! Uh, I rip the wall. Ah, thank you! Tag, you're it, mister! Run away! Run away! Mm -hmm. uh, running away is considered a victory. Mm. Don't you usually decide that with rock, paper, scissors? Ah! Ho hold on! <laughs> I couldn't catch anybody! <laughs> You've got slow feet, mister. That's no good. You're gonna have the police after ya. <laughs> right, cha. I wouldn't do anything that got the police after me. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. I achieved complete victory. Where were you, Sekyu? In the woman's restroom beside the elephant slide. I was surprised that it is much cleaner than it used to be. Also, there was a floral scent. If you hide, it's hide and seek. And I wouldn't be able to go in the girls' bathroom. Well, I went to a guy's bathroom once. Entirely by accident, but I did. Naturally, I'm aware of that. It was on purpose? Fire! You made a dad joke and knew I did Oh, <gasps> What's a dad joke? What's a dad joke? Share, share, share. Please. Man, you've got a weird smile, lady. <laughs> you betcha. Oh, did they perceive that as a smile? Hmm? You looked like you had fun. Of course you had s of course you'd smile, right? You betcha! You smile because you're having fun. Hee hee hee! Nanashi, was I smiling? Let's say yes, let's say yes. I see. P -p 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 -p. I feel somehow pleasant. Wah! <laughs> it's almost snack time! Hurry back! Raicha! Gotta hurry, or the witch won't get us snacks. Smell ya, yeah, mister and lady. Mm. Should we go too? Hmm, time is strict. Perhaps we can come here again next time. By calling it for now? Yes, let us return. Well, my friend said I was like a happy button on her vest. So I said, I'm invested in your joy. <laughs> oh, my evil laugh? Okay, let me try to do an evil laugh for you. I'm so proud of you, Vyra. That's so beautiful. Oh. Okay, I can't beat that, okay? I'm pretty sure that's like an actual actor doing that. That's an unfair comparison. Okay, actually, let me try doing that one. That was me trying to imitate that laugh. Thank you for getting on with me to... Wow. Okay, pardon me. Good luck with your job!
I'm, I'm trying to do an evil laugh, Kendo. Did I win? Did I win? I hope you're doing well today, Vyra. Are you making more mac and cheese? The one with the pulled pork? Wah... Well, let's go! Nanashi, I wish to ride this swing. No. No. Anything but that laugh. Like, I mentioned this before, but... As a kid, when I played Final Fantasy X, I always muted. I always muted the game when it when he did the laugh. I just couldn't... I couldn't handle it. I later read that that scene was supposed to sound awkward. It's supposed to be painful, but it doesn't change the fact that it was very painful. Yeah, make a pressure... Oh! You're gonna use a pressure cooker to make mac and cheese? Huh? You like swings? That's unexpected. It is not for that reason. Huh. Indeed, this link seems adjusted for a child. My legs are much too long. <laughs> Woo! Seems like it's still good for me, though. You are a child. I often used to run the s ride the swings here with my friends, Satjan and Yujan. Who's that? Satjan and Yujan? Two of my friends. As you can see, it is not my forte to express my emotions, and thus I had a small number of friends. However, playing with the doubled brats reminded me they would smile in my stead. Sh sh yeah. Such would we share the joy. I used to, like, when I was a kid in elementary school, we had a slide, not slide, sw uh, swings in our playground, and a lot of naughty kids, <coughs> I tried it once, would, like, stand on the swings instead of sitting in the swings. And the annoying thing is, after they do that, there's these giant footprints. Because they don't take off their shoes, right? So there's like giant footprints on the swing. So if you sit down afterwards, your pants get dirty. It's fine if you want to play the swings when you're standing up. But can you at least wipe the swing when you're done? Uh, Did you stay with them? Yes, we were together up through university. But have been too busy to meet much since graduating. Okay, smile or not, you're just Sekyu, and that's fine. In fact, I can't even imagine a Sekyu that's all smiles. Mm, it is slightly unthinkable, but I remembered. The reason I took this job too was to see people's smiles. As such, perhaps I do not need to smile myself. I mean, I think you don't have to force yourself to smile. If you're happy, it'll come naturally, and... If you're the type who don't express yourself through smiles, th that's fine too. I think if you make friends with people who know you, then they'll know that's just how you roll. Mm. And they should accept you as, as you are. You're not hurting anybody by not smiling. You're not deliberately holding anything back. Everybody expresses their feelings differently. Come to think of it, didn't your boss tell you to smile? So that's not gonna solve that problem, is it? It'll make it together in one fell swoop, not to mention it'll let me push. Whoa! How, how long will that last you? I don't know how much is three quarts, by the way, but I'm, I'm assuming it's like three big bowls? It's not supposed to be a touching scene. Do not bring it up. Okay, I guess that's not the real issue. Is it like, if, how much would it be if it was like a normal bowl? Like, how many bowls would that be? In any case, I'm relieved. I can stop with such foolish worries. Yeah, I can usually only finish one bowl as well, but oh, the mac and cheese is so good. It, it just goes down so smoothly, especially the cheap ones. Yes, so. I'm glad you feel better, Sekyu. Hmm. At this height, swings are indeed difficult. My high heels are also not proving beneficial. How about standing on it? I see. That is a possibility. And if I go slowly, I will not fall. Huh! Ah, no! You don't need to try that! I will not hear such things. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Her skirt's way short. Phew! I'm satisfied. I have reawakened my inner child. Oh, this is... I'm gonna... Oh, yeah! I think with pasta, honestly... Like, fresh pasta and microwave pasta, like, like reheating leftover pasta, they taste good just the same. There's... I honestly can't tell the difference. So, I think pasta is something that you can make like a big batch and then eat every single day and it will still taste so good. Oh, thank 
you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Louise Misk. I really appreciate your kind words. And I wish you a wonderful day at work and hope to see you next time. See you then. Uh, hmm? It's a rock? <laughs> this too is nostalgic. Between us, we called it a fox's gold coin. Now that you mention it, it does look kind of like a gold coin. I don't think I've ever had pulled pork before, actually. I haven't eaten... Like, I eat... Me <laughs> Kendo. Kendo, why do you always say you feel bad, but you're the only one redeeming that? <laughs> okay, okay. I, you might actually get me through this entire bag. I might run out, I might have to, like, take out this redeem afterwards, because I might be out. Let me see how much more I have left. Let me open the bag. Let me open the bag. Are we good? Uh, let me see. Let me see how much is in there. I actually, I actually still have a bit more than I expected in there. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do an extra bigger... I'm gonna do a bigger spoon now. I really want to get through this. Oh, oh the, the ones at the bottom of the bag are so fine. They're like fine powders. Okay. Oh. Okay. Ah. That's a good thing? Is that, is that a good thing? You know, I'm gonna put a couple more in there. I'm gonna, Cause it's so fine, I'm gonna put some more in there. Okay. Ah. 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 Oh, I put so much in there. I put... <laughs> I put so much in there. <laughs> super bad now because i think the, the ones that are really finely grained like the grinded the ones at the bottom are very powdery so i think they're not as, as popping so next time i do it i might try to down the whole bag or something that will either kill me or i i, I don't know hmm. okay no, don't start timing don't start setting your 30 minute timer okay they've got the hearts but i'm not sure i can tell you that on the 30 minute dot since this stream began, Kendo has very diligently been redeeming the Pop Rocks to the point where I, I think I'm going to finish the Pop Rocks by today. But what I put it on my, um, on my, like, wish list on Amazon. I am waiting for it to go on, go on sale. Why would it might be on sale? Is it on sale right now? Let me check Amazon. Wait, let, let me see. Sorry, give me a second. I'm just going to Amazon. No, it's not, it's not in stock. It's not on sale. It's still $11. Like, I, it, the cheapest bag I found on Amazon is $11 because I think there's like five different flavors in there. But my personal budget is like $7. Like, my personal budget is under $10. It just doesn't feel... Oh! It just doesn't feel right to pay over $10 for candy. That's a lot of... That's just a very big price point for candy, you know? My Scooby snacks only cost me like $5. And there's 10 packs in it. And I actually like Scooby Snacks. I'll give this to you, Nanashi. Eh? Huh? Is that okay? They're just lying around. You cannot refuse. Yeah! I ate a Scooby Snack today. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Hmm. That water is good after Pop Rocks, but not during Pop Rocks. It's the fact that I got it from you that's important. Wah, I'm so happy. Is that so? Oh, it's almost time. Let us return. Have you had Pop Rocks before, Vyra? Okay. Don't do it with soda. Um, you know, when I was doing that 12-hour stream where I was eating various stuff, uh, I actually considered Mentos and Coke. 
But pastry helped me Google and apparently drinking Mentos and Coke does not produce that explosive reaction. Something about if you put it in your mouth, it destroys the like the, the chemical reaction. It has to be... I don't know. I don't remember the scientific expression, but you know how you've seen videos of when you throw a Mentos in a can of Coke and it goes oh, bah, 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 right? Apparently it does not replicate that if you put it in your mouth. I imagine anything that pops like that might make you thirsty. Yeah, that is a good point. It sounds worrisome either way. Have you ever heard of the Mentos and Coke thing though? I did end up buying a Mentos and I tried it on stream. But I, I brought the fruit flavor and it was pretty good. It was pretty good, but I still gave it away to Yoichi because I didn't want to eat anymore. A Mentos... What's a por Porius? What's a Porius? Is that a brand? Wow, I have forgotten something. Oh, yes! My friend request. Can I? Yes. Hooray! Thank you! It is complete. Please continue to get... Please continue to get on with me, if you would. Wait, 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 wait. I missed something. Uh... I have. I also once was tricked to eat an entire thing of dehydrated bread? Can you elaborate? What is a dehydrated bread? Is it in a can? Like a canned cheeseburger? It means it needs to have a lot of tiny holes in it. So there's a there's a brand of Mentos with a lot of holes in it? Okay. Oh Smith, yeah, we got we got one friend. We got one more friend. Let's save and make another friend. Mentos is... But you said there you need these tiny holes in it. Okay, who, <gasps> Let's go befriend the, the little old lady with her adorable cat. Yes! I want you to be my friend. Okay, what, what do you like? What do you like? This is Granny Yasune, owner of the candy store. Being here makes me feel like I'm home. Dehydrated bread is basically a whole loaf of bread squished into approximate size of a... That sounds really dense. Was it really hard to bite into? A regular Mentos is porous. It has lots of pores. So you mean the one I had wasn't? I brought the fruit flavor one. It was chewy. She likes food, maybe? But she might not like hard or hot things. So she likes food, but not hard or hot foods. So not ice cream, then. Uh, what's something? Maybe mochi? I feel like she'll like mochi, because mochi is a very traditional food. The fruit ones don't work. Oh, because I can't stand mint. Uh, mint is really spicy, right? That's why when I bought Mentos, I bought the fruit ones. Oh, so I guess those are not the OG Mentos. It was pretty good though. The fruit flavor one was pretty good. But like I said, I gave it to Yoichi anyways. Oh shoot! Oh, okay, that's not the big thing she likes. Something... I, I need to get her some food. Does she like cookies maybe? I'm trying to figure out what she likes. Something that's not a food that is not hot and not cold. Or hard. Because she, Oh yeah, I gave her cookies. She probably doesn't have a lot of teeth. I thought it was like a really poorly made banana bread. Oh, were you super full? Maybe I should give her bread crumbs. I don't think grandmas like big wax. Um I don't know. What do kids what do what do kids like? Chocolate cake? Does grandma like chocolate cake? Ah, Grandma does not like chocolate cake. Grandma, I don't know what you like. Grandma likes, uh... Is this... Uma bo does, do grandmas like candy? No, no, it's too hard. She doesn't have teeth. I was nearly bad. Whoa, I'm so glad you were okay then. Pink takoyaki. I don't know, what do, what do grandmas like? What do grandmas like? What do grandmas like? Um... What do you call it? Beads? Muscle... Maybe tea? It sounds... Grandma, I don't know what you like! Grandma doesn't like anything! Mocha? What food is not hot or hard? Okay, I'm, I'm, gonna I'm gonna read her description again. She likes food, but not hard or cold things. So, wait, wait, hard or cold? I, I... Hard or hot things? What about ice cream? Ice cream's cold and soft. Uh, maybe... Okay, let's try giving her ice cream. Yes! It was out... I was out camping when I was in Air Cadets. 
I guess it makes sense why they would have dehydrated bread if you're camping. <gasps> Vira, have you had canned cheeseburgers before? Ah, ice cream. Yes, I like the azuki flavor. Thanks, dear. <sighs> Thanks for always stopping by. Did you just move in here, dear? Mm. Not really. I've just been holed up at home. I see, I see. That'll weaken your back, you know. Children are like the wind. Run! Run, Forest, run! Do you want to be friends? <gasps> oh? Sure, sure. How do I do that now? It is my dream. I also... Oh, you know, like Yoichi and the others actually tried a whole bunch of funky flavored uh, sodas. There was like ranch and there was... I think pumpkin maybe? And there was... There was... I just remembered a ranch flavor one. But I know it's something you can order and try. I'm interested too, but I don't want to buy like a soda, take a sip and I don't like it and I don't know what to do with it. Like, that's my big fear of trying new foods, is if I don't like it, what do I do with it? I don't want to force myself to eat it, but I also don't, don't want to waste it. Yeah, I, I think they look pretty at least. I can't tell you how it tastes, but they do look really nice. They're very colorful. And I also really want to try a canned cheeseburger. That's also on my bucket list. Huh? Really? Um, give me a sec. I know. I'll grant a wish for you. Oh? A wish? Yes, I'll grant a wish for you, then ask you to be my friend. Oh. I see. Well, anything does it for me if I can live long. I'm fine just having the occasional chat and visit. Understood. I'll talk to you and visit you lots, so that we can be friends. <sighs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, dear. Shizuko's going out again. Meow. What? Sorry. How was... Blocking the way. Meow. I just saw a proportioned and padded fried burger. Hey, what do you mean? What do you mean? Is it a canned cheeseburger? Take care there. Oh ho ho ho. Mm. Where is Shizuko going? Oh. Who knows? She's always back at noon, so I'm not too worried. I see. Uh. Oh dear, is it a cold? Yeah, maybe because I don't go outside? <sighs> it's just like the meat patties I was imagining, like buns and everything. Now I'm really curious what that looks like. Do you mind showing that on my Discord server? I really want to see what that looks like now. Ginger is good for colds. Lemons too. If ginger doesn't work, try some honey. Ah, I'll go home and try it. Achoo! Don't push it, child. Go home and rest. And have a souvenir. Oh, candy! <laughs> I'll come back! The meat patties or the... You, do you have pictures of both? Do, do you have pictures of both? I want to see what is the canned burger of your dreams. Because it might be the canned burger of my dreams too. Oh, we can share the same dream. Okay, I'm going to give her the ice cream. I've come to visit again! Welcome! It's Nanashi, yes? <laughs> yep, though that's not my real name. <sighs> oh, your name's different. Sorry, I don't know what's in with young people. Or as they say, the poggers. It's mostly the same, so it's fine. Never mind that, though. I haven't seen Shizuko around. I like how in her sprite, the cat's like right there, but the cat's actually missing. But as per her sprite, the cat's like sitting on her lap and she's like, I don't know where my cat went, but I can't move because something feels heavy on my lap. Can you look for my cat for me? Oh, okay. Okay, have have a good mute, I guess. I don't have Dream Burger, but it's something like Spongebob. I've never seen Spongebob, so I actually don't know what the Krabby Patty looks like. I've heard of it, though. And, and I'm sorry about your headphones, Studio. She's usually back by this time, but I haven't seen her. Mm. The tortoise shell? Yeah, the one right on her lap. I didn't see her on my way here either, but it's right on your lap. Oh. Ah, well, 
She didn't look too sickly, but Shizuko's an old lady, so I worry, even though she's right on my lap. Oh, I'll look for her. It's on her lap. If she's an old cat, she should be out sleeping somewhere. Will you now? Thank you, child. I doubt she went too far, but who knows? Let me pet the mysterious cat on my lap while you look for my cat. Okay. Oh my gosh, I wish they made a version of the sprite without her cat. Oh, this is a good place. Hmm? Looking for something? Good guess! Do you know Miss Shizuko? Shizuko is one of the cat at Yasune's, isn't it? Right! Have you seen her? She was around here about 20 minutes ago, but she quickly headed off that away. Do you ever play with cats, Takayami Takamiya? No. I'm allergic. Rip! Like my pants. Well, their headphones are dying, so I guess there's no choice but to mute me? Wait, why do you have to mute me if your headphones are dying, though? I guess because you have to take it off, and so... You shouldn't... Oh well. Yeah, you can mute me. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. Sorry for what? My pants ripped the other day. I was so sad. I actually, I was at Ikea... Not Ikea. IHOP. Sorry, I don't know why I mix up. They both start with an I. And they're short words. I was actually with uh, Yoichi at uh, IHOP. And I was like talking to her. And I was resting my hands on my lap. And then I felt like... I was like, huh, the texture of my pants feel a little different than usual. And then I, I touched it. And I was like, no! There's a giant rip in my pants! But thankfully... Thankfully, it was not like... Right in the middle, it's like where my thighs are, so you can't actually see anything. It's like at the my, my lower thigh. It, I'm so glad. It, imagine if I ripped my pants at the back. <laughs> Intense thinking, Mika Imo. Hmm. The thinker. My one brain cell. Um, I need to look for Shizuko. Excuse me. Really sorry. Oh yeah, Vira, are you all used to your new place now? H hey! I asked what you're apologizing for. I'm more of a dog person, honestly. Shizuko! Shizuko! Oh, what's the matter? Mm. Oops, sorry to bother your cleaning. Do you know Shizuko? Shizuko? I'm sorry, but who would that be? She's a tortoise shell cat. Well, they, don't, don't they call them a torty? I imagine eyebrows angie, mouth open and head to... Eyebrows are angry. <laughs> I'm getting more used to being on my own. Just, do you still see your your family regularly now, or are you used to like living alone? Because I know transition can be hard. Oh, there's a cat that's been going behind the sacred tree. Is that the one? I'll lead you there. Really? Okay. She's still there. Is that the one? Yeah, that's her. Huh? Oh dear, there's a kitten too. Is it lost? This one's wounded! Oh, oh okay. Oh, that's nice that you're still near them, but you you can like still like live on your own, but while still keeping in touch. I think that's a really really good combination. Oh no, someone should help it. Yeah, well, if if he's still near his family, then that means he has emergency contacts. So I think that's okay. It's it's not like he went to a completely different country all alone. That would be really scary. Meow! Careful! My, she's being very threatening. Did we scare her? Mm. Well, I can tell she wants to protect the kitten, but animals can't talk, so I don't know the details. She's grooming his fur. <laughs> How cute. Oh, kawaii koto. <laughs> Sorry, Kaguya reference. I'll go to the store and buy some cat food. If we leave some, they might eat it. Good idea. I'll watch them in the meantime. So that's what happened. <sighs> that's what kept you, hmm? Thank you, child. Here's a little thanks. Wah! Thanks so much. Bye-bye, Shizuko. Meow! Haha, <laughs> you think I'm saying goodbye? No. <laughs> Have some more ice cream and be my friend, Granny. <laughs> be my friend! There. <clears throat>
Yeah, Vyra is very well planned. So, good, good on you, Vyra. I know you've been planning the move for a while, and I'm really glad you actually got it to happen. And that it's going well. I'm, I'm so happy for you and so proud of you, Vyra. And I can't wait for the day that you start your streams. I can't wait to cheer you on in chat. I can't wait to bombard you with emotes. I mean, spam you with emotes. I mean, cheer you on with emotes. <laughs> I can't wait for Vyra emotes. Looks really moving in a matter of weeks. <laughs> did you find that place like very suddenly? Or was it recommended to you? Or how did you come across the place that you're in right now? Granny, is Shizuko here? Oh. No, she's yet to come back again. Mm. Then I'll go look for her. She's probably in the same place. <sighs> oh, such a lifesaver. Thank you. Hello. Ah, uh, hello. Shizuko's come by if you're looking for her. I see. Thank you. Oh, and the kitten too. Hmm? She's a... Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I swear, if there's cat deaths, I'm gonna start crying. This game was meant to be cute, okay? If this game makes me cry, I will... Well, I'll keep playing, but I'll not be very happy. She's a cool better live. I do not tolerate pet deaths. She's a cool's life signs are really weak. What is it? Mm. Is she's a cool sick? Ah, uh, give me a moment. So, the, was it like, um, I'm guessing like online, like you went to like a website to find places that are being rented near you and it looked good? I hope you're assuming, I'm assuming you're renting, but you don't have to tell me one way or the other, but I, I hope if you're renting that your landlord is nice. If, if you're not renting, then... Then there is no landlord, then ignore me. Her breath is light, and she's moving slow. She seems quite old, so that's probably why. Meow. Mm. And she doesn't seem to want the cat food. She's just staying next to the kitten. The forecast says it's going to rain this evening. I'm worried for them, and I can't take them to my house. My apartment doesn't allow pets either. Would Yasune be able to keep them? I know her number, so I can call her. Er, give me a moment. Yes, I see. Understood. Well? It seems like it's fine. I have a box and a blanket. I don't need, so I'll bring them. I already met the landlord, and I didn't get that apartment. The mailboxes leave a bit desire, but new. No. Oh, that sounds really nice. I hope there's good transit nearby or some good stores near you as well. Like, especially grocery stores because of how much you cook. So it would be, it would be a lot if you had to carry them very far. Though I'm sure you're very strong, but still. The less you have to walk with groceries, the better, right? Okay, hang in there, Shizuko. Meow. <coughs> How's Shizuko doing? <sighs> She's an... Bro, I swear if this game makes me cry she's an old lady now it may be her time is there anything we can do <sighs> it's just an unavoidable thing you know often it's more sad to fight against it she's a cool she loves to have the back of her neck scratched like this just a little scratch ah very tufty I'm taking tracks with a big... You know, I've seen people go grocery shopping with those, uh, lug... Not luggage case, but, um... The thing with wheels? So that you don't have to, like, carry it brute force. That could be an option. And they fold up if you're not using it, so they won't take up a lot of space. Ho ho ho, she looks pleased. Meow. <laughs> Worried about the little one, are you? Worry not, darling. It's not such a bad wound. I'll put them in a different room from the others. Do cats threaten outsiders? Oh yes, they value the places they live in. I'm mostly using it a metaphorical j Like I could do it all in one trip! Yeah. Vyra, you're gonna have so much gains. Eh? Uh, ah, it's clouding up! Hurry on home now. You'll be cold if it starts to rain on you. Mm. Um, but... Shizuko will be fine. 
I'll be watching her. Ah, and take this. Okay, excuse me. Bro, I swear, if I come back and she still goes dead, I'm, I'm, I've got, I've got, I've, I've got, I've got, I've got to, I, I don't know, be, be really sad. Hello. Ah, Nanashi, I was waiting for you. Stand up now. Take off your shoes. Huh? Oh, okay. I still remember the shocked look of me saying, Good evening, Jen. Wait, reader? You go to Walmart? Just cause... Just cause I... Other than Walmart, I've never heard of any grocery stores with... Greeters. Usually when I go in, people ignore me. For the better. I, like, I, I want them to ignore me. I don't want them to have to greet me. Come, Shizuko. It... <gasps> oh no! Oh no! It's Nanashi. He came to see you go. Her life signs are at zero. No! <sighs> One always has to say goodbye. Oh, she actually passed away! She actually passed away! Her end, her end came last night. She was sleeping peacefully. She's... Uh, she, Shizuko was with her kitten behind the tree at the shrine. She even groomed its fur. I see. Shizuko was a nosy cat like that. My husband's time came ten years back. I was startled how soon it came. I cried all night. And Shizuko was there for me then, always coming along everywhere I went. So there were times I nearly tripped on her. She was going on more walks lately, which I thought odd. Yes, she was a real keeper. Shizuko was... Yeah, I thought of... Cats is independent, sort of selfish, but I guess that's not always true. Everyone is different, whether it's a cat or a dog. No two are the same, just like with humans. But these darlings are much more upright. My husband was a very stubborn sort. That's cold of you. When you go to the other side, you have to take everything. So if you forget your warmth, You'll be freezing over there. That is the most... That is such a sweet statement on how we should carry on with life. It's... Like, I'm gonna read it again. When you go to the other side, you have to take everything. So if you forget your warmth, you'll be freezing over there. I don't know why. There's something really powerful in that statement. That... I don't know. I just, I just really like how it sounds. I see. Yeah. Huh? The kitten Shizuko was tending to? Is its leg okay now? Meow! Meow! Ah, uh, right. Can't understand human speak. Let me do my best cat voice. M Meow? Meow! Meow! <laughs> oh, I see. I don't understand, but I can tell you're happy. Ho ho ho, yes. Shizuko may have passed, but now I've gotten to meet this darling. I intend on keeping them here. You have to treasure both meetings and goodbyes. See people off with a smile and accept with a smile. Right! We've said our farewell. Let's head back. Aww. Ah, yes. You granted my wish for me. Ho ho ho. Thank you for talking with me, child. Wait, I, I've actually... You know, a lot of people mention Mark, Marky... Flyer, but I've actually never watched his videos. What? What did he do with a cat? What did he do? Er, uh, yeah, go ahead. <gasps> I, yeah, I befriended Yasune, and I wish I befriended. I wish I befriended Shizuko. <laughs> Will this do then? Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, of course. Please show me. Thank you. I got, oh my god. I think I got a pop rock in my eye. Wait. I, got, I, I think I got a pop rock in my eye. Okay, thankfully, I don't think it actually popped. There was like a very mild fizzle. I think I had 
a little pop rock left on my hand and I didn't notice, so I like rubbed my eye just now and I got a pop rock in my eye. Oh my gosh, can you imagine popping pop rocks in your eye? I think it's actually doable. I, you should not, but your eyes are like liquidy, right? It would pop. It would actually pop. <laughs> well, chalk that up with the weird things I got in my eye. Pop rocks. I, I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't do it. I, I shocked myself too. Get it? I shocked myself. <laughs> I'll come back to talk with you more. Oh. You will. I'm glad to hear it. Mikiko's glad too. I'll give you the bell from Shizuko's collar. <laughs> Kendo, you just said! But you just said! Oh my gosh, Kendo. Kendo! Alright, let's see how much I have left. Let's see how much I have left. Mm. It's very, very fine powder. I wonder if I can put them all in a spoon and just sho shove it all in one go. Okay, I'm gonna try to put as much as I can on a spoon and let me see if I can finish it all in, in one round. Very <gasps> okay, I don't think I can do it in one round. There's a lot. I have, I have I have enough for one more. There's a lot. There's a lot more. I, I can do one more. Okay. Ah! What? I got I got some on my chair. Crap! I gotta wipe my table after this. I gotta wipe my table after this. Oh! Ah! Ah! I'm no. Oh, I, there's so much in my mouth. They're struggling to pop because there's so much. <laughs> it got down my throat. <laughs> Holy cow, there's so much. <laughs> oh, they're like clumping together in my mouth. Oh, oh, oh holy cow. It's... it's uh, 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 the, uh, uh, <laughs> they're like clumped together, like weird cotton candy, popping cotton candy right now. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're so finely grained. Grind it, not grained. Oh, they're like in between my teeth and in my teeth. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. I think because of the previous ones, they're like solid crystals. These ones are, they're like sad. So I was really able to taste the flavor this time. They are really sweet. I put, I was trying to get the whole bag, but there was just way too much. It's just, there was too much. Next time will be the last one though. Oh, okay, I really need some water. That was really sweet. Oh, ah, I drank some water and some, some of, some of them were still in my mouth. They started popping. Oh, okay, this pop rock thing has been quite an experience. <laughs> my my shopping list has warheads on it. If it goes if it goes on sale, I will I might no not I might I will get warheads and I will try them on stream. Because I really enjoyed uh, Sour Patch Kids, I wonder you know I also looked up Toxic Waste that Trashy was recommending, which is apparently a really really sour candy called Toxic Waste. It's but unfortunately they also sell it in bulk. So, actually, let me see how much Warhead... Sorry, not Warheads. Um, Toxic Waste costs. Toxic Waste Sour Candy. Let me just see how much it costs. Well, I guess it's not too much. It's like $9. Is it $9? Yeah, it's like $9, but still a lot, though, for a candy that I might only eat once. But why? Why? Toxic Waste? Why would you want me to try Warheads, but not Toxic Waste? Aren't they both really sour candy? I hope I like it too, but it's it's a hard candy, right? I usually go for more sour candy. That's why I like uh, Sour Patch Kids. Okay, I'll come visit. Yo, Schmeck, yeah, we, we got another friend. Okay, let's see who we can befriend next. Uh, so for those who don't know... I, I heard there's about 32 optional friends you can make, and there's four chapters. So I'm hoping to make eight friends before proceeding with, with each chapter and like... Pace myself like that. Let's see who can I befriend next. Oh, I want to befriend you! Onesang! Well, hi there. Okay, what do you like? 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 This is Shitara, the drugstore owner. She's a miss. I guess she makes all the medicines here. She likes 
medicine, surely? And maybe food from Kansai. Wait, what food do they sell in Kansai? What? Uh, is it takoyaki? Is takoyaki a Kansai food? Shoot, I don't know geography. I don't know. Is takoyaki a Kansai food? Is mochi a Kansai food? Does anyone know what's a Kansai food? Well, she likes medicine, right? So I'll, I'll give her some medicine. I have here. I have, I have a... Wait, Tummy Tummy Ache is not a medicine? It's an album from a pop idol? Is Mochi Kansai though? Okay, I'm believing in you, okay, Kendo? And thank you, Vyra. I think you'll have a much easier time than me though. No! This is a, this is a generic answer. It means that's not the favorite thing. Kansai food? Okay, she likes medicine, right? I'll give her medicine. Oh, yes! Yes! I got her medicine! She likes it! Oh, what's this now? Cold medicine? Thanks. The brats catch colds all the time, and they won't drink any of my medicine. Who gives medicine as a present, though? Isn't that kind of dangerous? I'm not... No, I'm not talking down on myself. I'm complimenting you, but I'm not talking down on myself. I'm not even thinking about myself. Well, well, Nanashi. I've been seeing a lot of you. Well, that's because I want to be your... I think I want to be your friend, miss. Ora. Friend? I feel like you might have better time with the runts than me, since they're more your age. Mm. Uh, being friends with them seems like it might turn out extremely poorly somehow. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. They are pretty lousy. Hmm. Hmm? Maybe you could give me a little help here. Help! Mm-hmm. Mm. If you want me to capture a man for you, I'm not strong, so I don't think you'll be very efficient. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. I can handle that myself. Oh, okay, thank you, Kendo. See you next time. Better not... Thank you for... I guess there's one more pop rock left for next time, then. It'll be there for you, Kendo. Thank you for all the poppy rocks. Even as a lawyer... <laughs> Wait, who made slanderous art? Oh, you know, but... But... Vyra, usually I'm the one making slanderous art because people have been using art redeems to make me make... slandery art of myself. <coughs> Wormika. <coughs> so she actually does. This job is more of a push than a pull. You see, I've got kind of a cream puff friend. But bloody Mika... Oh, the, 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 uh, what's it called? There was a whole name for that. I forgot the name. Swag? Uh, no, 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 um. There was a name for that picture. I forgot what it was called. There was a theme there. It was. What? It was. It was like a, a term that young kids use these days. Unfortunately, I don't remember it, but I know exactly which one you're talking about. Oh yeah, that one was quite a thing. Cream Puff? I mean, he's spineless. See, he's got a sweetheart in mind, but he's never taken but one step forward for ages. Yeah, I didn't make that one. I Actually, I did start off with that one, Vyra. I actually was the one who... Drip! Drip! I had the drip. I first made the picture of me wearing the, the drip jacket, but then people photo photoshopped the hat, the sword, and the blood. Like, they took it, like, 50 notches further than I did. Mm. Not one step? Well, maybe half a step if you want to round up. Mm. So he's pretty shy, is he? Indeed. It's always annoyed me to tell the truth. I'm not so sure about going in alone, so I'd like some help. Understood. I'll do literally anything. That's some good spirit. Then I'll put together a plan. Of course. I've got work to do today. We'll talk once we've s I've worked this out. Right. See you then. <laughs> Much thanks. See you. So we're playing Cupid now? I can do that. I'm so good at playing Cupid. I... I can... I've played a lot of Otome games, so I play Cupid with my character all the time. Well, hi there. Hello. Can we continue with what we were you were talking about before? Oh, you bet. Well, first, who is this cowardly person you mentioned? You know the police station a little bit past my shop? Yeah, that stern policeman's there. That's him. Huh? 
Aha! Seems odd, doesn't it? To think he'd be such a romantic. Is he a romantic if he haven't even taken half a step? Uh, also, Vyra, sometimes though, in Otome games, <coughs> I make the wrong choice and I get everybody killed. <coughs> There's a lot of dead ends in Otome games, like romance games. You wouldn't believe how many times I've died playing a romance game. I'm like, this is supposed to be like a fluffy, cute, romantic, like, game, and I just got killed. He'll deny it, but you can tell if you watch. Is the person Takimiya likes also a childhood friend? Mm-hmm. She's the maiden at the shrine nearby. Oh, <gasps> that's such a cute pairing. That is such a cute pairing. You've never seen it? You claim ignorance? Have you... I think, Vyra, you've played visual novels, right? But maybe not uh, otome or romance games, but... I know you've played the uh, AI Somamin, Somanaminium. That one is kind of like a visual novel, but have you played visual visual novels before? A famous one is Steins Gate, that a lot of people have played or watched. Oh, what? Uh, Nanashi! The big breasted one! <laughs> Honest with your desires, eh, Nanashi? Future's looking bright for you. Thank you! Hakuhi, Mia, and me have known each other ever since we were in grade school. And she he's been crushing on Hakuhi all the way since then. That's a long time. And yet he's getting nowhere. He's got a big body, but a puny coward heart. What exactly is the plan here? Oh yeah, so min so nimium files. Oh yeah, you're right. Sorry, I of course I should know you played Danga Rampa. Stupid. I'm so stupid. Sorry, I should know that. <gasps> what other visual novels have you played other than Danga Rampa? Forged letters written by the two of them. I'll have you hand them the letters, Nanashi. We're playing Cupid by committing fraud? They'll get suspicious if I had any part. How's that? I... sure? <laughs> oh, very nice, Nanashi. It's kind of a cheap plan. You sure it'll work? Oh, they're both pure and oblivious. It'll go plenty well, I say. Raja! Then I'll get to work on the letters. Mm. Won't they recognize your handwriting? You know how long I've been with them? Forgery is a cakewalk. Okay, I can't... Look, like, I've known my sister my whole life, and I don't think I can forge her handwriting. Well, I'm rooting for you. Come by later. Much thanks. Later as in right now! Right now! Meow, 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 meow. Why, hi there. I've got the letters done. Ready to deliver? Right. To Hakuhi and to Takia. Sorry, Takamiya? Yes, yes. Go on then. Wow, Hakuhi's letter looks cute. I figured she'd pick a real kitty design. This is Mia's. I mean, I wrote it though. This is, uh, less of a letter, more of a... Challenge? <laughs> <laughs> That's just how stubborn he is. Hand it to her appropriately, and you're good. Mm. Are you confident this will work? Writing on stationery is almost dead these days. It's easy to use bit phones to send messages, make calls, or anything else. The people around here value old thinking, old tech. Even the buildings are like what you see in a history book. Yeah, this town does have a retro style, and so do the people in it. Yep, yep. And if it doesn't work, well then, we'll just see. Okay, I'm off. But okay, low-key, I absolutely love it when there's romance between side characters. So I really hope we can see this uh, ship sail. Why, hi there. Mm hmm? What's this? Imitating Shitara, are you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Want me to call your parents? Oh, Batman Telltale Heart. Oh, I didn't know that is... Oh, Coffee Talk. I've seen Jideo play that. Tokyo Dark, Vampire, Sorta... Wait, Sword Art Online is a visual novel? Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet? That sounds like an RPG. Blaze Blue is visual novel? Isn't that a fighting game? S sorry, I, I just got carried away. I have something to give you. A delivery? Here you go. Is this from Hakuhi? Can you tell? Well, surely only Hakuhi or Shitara's younger siblings would use such childish stationery. 
Well, that's my job done. Excuse me. Right. Take care of getting home. Oh, hi there. Ah, uh, hi there yourself. Imitating Shi-chang? You mean Shitara? Yup. Oh, speaking of which, there's this PS3 game that's called Tears to Tierra 2. That's also like 60% visual novel and 40% strategy game. And it's really good. The story is really good. Like, people complain because there's so much visual novel elements, but I play it mostly for the story. The gameplay is actually pretty hard, but I really, really enjoyed the story. And I wish they could make it turn it into an anime. It was a very powerful story. And even though it's called Tears to Tierra 2, you don't need to play one. It's a separate story. You mean Sh Shitara? Yeah, Tears to Tierra. But 2, the one that was uh, released on PS3. <laughs> the dialect can be strangely infectious. Sometimes I feel like using it myself. Oh, right. I'm here to give you this. Uh... Yes, there is one, but that's off the first the first one. The first game, Tears to Tierra 1, is the one that got an anime. And then Tears to Tierra 2 is the one that was localized in English on the PS3. But there was never an anime. Mm. It's a letter, I think. Oh, I see. I'll treat this carefully. You should read it as soon as possible. <laughs> so I see. They both took the letters! <laughs> you think it went well? Haha, <laughs> I sure hope you're right. So it has Danganronpa syndrome? What do you mean? Some of the most well received games weren't animated. I don't think Tears to Tierra 2 was ever got very mainstream, to be honest. I think most people who played it liked it, but. It was not like a big franchise or anything, so I don't think it ever was very well known. That's also why it didn't get an anime. But it was really good, even as the game itself was really good. But didn't Danganronpa get animated? That'll do for today. Thanks much, but there's still the aftermath. What's next? How about three days? Come back then. Roger that! It's now three days. Let's do it. Show me the aftermath. It's been three days. Boop. Hi there. Cutting it close, aren't you? We ought to hurry. Sorry. Let's go. Stay hidden now. Hakuhi's not likely to notice, though. Mm. But Takamiya's not here yet. Danganronpa the anime is the first game. Oh, yes. The Bottle of Hope's Peak Future and Despair arc is an original story in a... I think each Danganronpa is a different set of characters, right? No, no, I remember there was one character who appeared in the next game. He was very good looking in the first game, then he got... Well, he got chubby in the second game. You probably know who I'm talking about. He's blonde and he gained a lot of weight between the first game and the second game. He'll be here soon. I know it. Always comes five minutes early on the dot. How devoted. Oh, he's here. Byakuya is your least favorite character, really? I really liked his character design in the first game, though. Hey. Hey. Uh, Haka, hello. You've always kept that five minutes policy. I need to be right on time for work, of course. <laughs> so devoted. I like that about you, Taka. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did you just jump? No, er... Nothing. He has the usual anime, me rich. Oh, is that what his personality is like? Was he still like that in the second game? Did his personality change along with his body shape? Taka, do you like me? <gasps> she went straight for the bullseye. Huh? Do you hate me? Uh, I said no such thing. But your face is all red, and it seemed like you didn't want to say. It's not red. It's just hot today. Ugh. Wow, this is kind of agonizing. <laughs> sure is, sure is. He's really spineless. I told you. They're a good match, but yeesh. With Hakuhi, it seems more like she has a love for humanity, I guess. He was a lot nicer in the second game. He's trying to take charge. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Man, is there a spoiler reason of why he gained so much weight in the second game? Like, was there a... Was there a need to make him change that much from the first game, like, visually? Ah, that figure. 
part of why she's so easy to fool. Mm. Is this going to get somewhere? Oh! <sighs> Is this what you called me to talk about? Huh? Mm hmm? Uh, well, the point is... What's that piece of paper? I've been terribly forgetful lately. I just wanted to make sure. Hand that over to me. Huh? No, I can't. You wrote not to show it to you. Not really. Someone just like... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because not gonna lie, I thought he was pretty good looking in the first game. And then the second game, I was like, whoa. Whoa, he, he sure looks different. <laughs> I did? What do you mean? Let me see. Aha! <gasps> uh -huh. I see. Did you figure something out? First of all, did you really not have any doubts about this letter saying to not show it to me, even when it's something I supposedly wrote? No! <sighs> I swear. He was a lot nicer and a lot less do this and more like, let's go. You know, I actually googled uh, the plot of, I think it was the first or second Danganronpa game. I don't want to spoil anybody, but there was a ship. I saw a fan art of this couple who looked really cute together. But then I find out that the girl doesn't make it. And I was kind of sad. Like, I googled. You might know which game I'm talking about, but because even I don't know which game I'm talking about, I just saw the fan art and I went to Google because I wanted to see if they end up together. And then it's like, oh, she doesn't survive. <laughs> Found me out? You're a real sharp cookie, Mia. How many times have you tried this? Playing these foolish pranks in these foolish ways? It was really dark. Do you remember anything? Oh, um, you mean the, the girl who died? You want me to describe her to you? Ah, Taka, you're being scary. Hey, don't bully Shijang. Go home! Oh, okay. Well, maybe maybe don't say the don't say the name because that means I'm spoiling on who's gonna die. But let me know if you know who I'm talking about. Um, she's blonde, and she has uh short hair. He ran. Guess the past attempts foiled her plan. Let's get going, shall we? Okay. Another failure. Well, nothing for it. Do you want them together that bad? Well, I've known them for years. Sorry, for ages. And I'll admit I'm a nosy sort. Just want those two to be happy, you know? <laughs> yes, my love's just a special kind. There's no such thing as a special love. Love doesn't have any shape. Hmm? If you love someone, even if they're not a creature, even if they're not organic, it's still love. You can't categorize it. That's right. That's why I like my husbandos when I play Otome games. I mean... <coughs> <laughs> you bet. There's so many that could be considered... Okay. You know what? Let, let, let me Google myself. Give me one second. Anangarompa uh, blonde girl death scene. Oh my gosh, you're right. There are a lot of blonde people. There are a lot of blonde people. Uh, oh, sorry. Her hair's not super short. It's actually like... Below her shoulders. I'm just googling. But I, I can't... I, I can't say the name because I don't want to spoil anybody. But... She has hair clips. There. <laughs> Love's got no shape. That's a good phrase. Seg... Seg... to into. Take my love too. Oh, a friend request? Please! You're good at sneaking into people's hearts, Nanashi. Alright. Here you go. I like how the side quest to befriend Shitara was less about her and more about her two friends. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> so that makes Nanashi and me friends now. Yes! Good job! Good job, Vyra! But yeah, I was pretty sad because the fan arts of them together were really cute. And I'm a big shipper at heart. And I don't know any other ships in the Danganronpa series. Maybe there are, but that's the only one that I saw a cute fan art of. And here's some thanks for your help. Don't fret, just had some leftover. Wow, pretty. Thank you very much. Oh, schmeck, yeah! Okay, let's make one more friend today. 
Let's make one more friend today. <gasps> you know what? After after the pain we caused him, let's befriend him. After all the pain we caused this guy. Bankarama has a lot of fan service for shipping. But do any ships actually sail, Vyra? Or are they just teased? Like, do any ships actually happen? This is Takimiya, who works at the police station. An inspirational, sturdy guy. He likes, um, sweets, protein. Oh, he's got stomach problems. He likes protein. What's protein? Ooh, okay, what, what do I have that's protein? <gasps> he has stomach problems! So, stomach medicine! Hmm? Are you worrying about me? Very sorry, but thank you. I run out quickly. Yes! Okay, give him a lot of stomach medicine. What is it? You've been coming to talk to me a lot lately. Well, I've just been throwing stomach medicine at you, but yeah. Something you want to talk about? Yeah, when are you and that Miko gonna get together? You look really cute together, and I, I think you should do it. For me. You always look like you're having a rough day, so I was wondering how I could help. What are you after? Wow, can you read minds? Awesome, I can do that too. No, just intuition, though. My interest is also piqued by that statement you just made. Don't stick your nose in anything dangerous now. Is your job dangerous, Takamiya? A lot of it is more mental damage than physical. Whoa! Do you still intend to help? Tell me literally anything and I'll do it. I'm fine with whatever you say or do. Is that all right? Yep! Hmm, but getting a citizen involved... I mean, just a little, just a non-dangerous weird occurrences. I can say confidently three ships sailed, two of which are around quite a bit. In one game or throughout the different games? Is there like three ships in one game? True, those are the minority, but majority. But when I tell you to run from danger, head straight home. Mm. So are there dangerous incidents? A few a year, roughly. The master program takes care of most things. Yeah, lots of crimes are easy to foil. Too bad it's not making much less work for you. Yes, with all these strange townspeople, just talking about it makes my stomach ache. Don't worry, I'll throw so much stomach medicine at you. Mm. Very damaging, I see. I'm not good at talking to people, so I'm out. Ugh, thank you. Watch yourself on your way home. Salute! Salute! Yeah, I'm gonna throw more stomach medicine at you. Oh, it's you. I've gotten a call, so I need to get- I need to be going. Seriously, I can't- I really wish they made- they, they took away that weird brown strip of hair on his head. It looks like he has a potato stuck on his head. I can't unsee it, or a towel or something. Is it something I can tag along for? One is alone and in the ending. Another has two, and technically there are two more in the extended anime. Oh, there's like an original couple in the anime? Hmm. That will be fine. Let's go. Yay! So, Shiren, what is it this time? <laughs> oh, I've got roaches. Eight months since the last time. It looks like a cartoon leaf. Yeah, I know. It's, it's pretty off-putting. Like, the rest of his design looks so, like, normal. And then there's this random, like, stab of thing on his head that's really distracting and kind of seem... Out of place with his design. I wish it I wish it, it just kept it dark brown with the rest of his hair. Mm -hmm. Is it now? Cockroach extermination? Oh, total extermination would be nice, but they mostly just need a good whacking. <sighs> I'm no good at this sort of thing. They're outside the store, they're on the walls. It really hurts the image. The two ships are technically confirmed. What is it? Oh, okay, I'm gonna Google. I mm. Even if I don't watch the show, I like to look at, like, ship fan art of characters because I think they're so cute. <coughs> Sorry. I have, like, a whole folder of, like, cute couple fan art. Even though I don't, don't watch most of the show or play the games, I just appreciate... I just think they're really cute, you know? I'm pretty sure I have some, some of the Danganronpa ones saved up as well. Wow, grotesque. All right, can I borrow a cleaning implement? Coming right up. Ah, uh, you're a lifesaver. Sorry about that, but I can treat you to a bowl if you like. No, it's simply my duty to help citizens. Hmm? Yes, 
It's Takamiya. Ah, Kaori. I'm not far, so I'll be right there. Sorry, something else has come up. Fine by me. The ramen's not going anywhere. Let's go, boy. Thanks for your help. Okay, I'll come along. Man, feels like I'm dreaming. So, what do you need today? I need that book at the very top. You call the police for that? Just get a ladder. Yeah! Couldn't you use a stepladder? It broke apart just the other day. Shouldn't have used such an old one, I know. What about the other workers? Eh? It's all short women around here right now. You're nice and tall, so... Right. The one with the brown cover? Yes, please. Hmm. This bookcase has some real height to it. Oh? You can't reach? <sighs> just a big oaf. Gah! Excuse me, boy. Could you grab it? I'll get you on my shoulders. Okay, but I can't hold anything heavier than chopsticks, much less a grown guy. Were you listening? I said I'll get you on my shoulders. Mm. <laughs> well, Kaori seemed to really hurt you there, so I thought I'd provide some comic relief. But don't worry about that, boy. Come on, he sounds like Kratos. I haven't even played Kratos, but I know he calls his son boy. Thanks, you're a real help. Right, tell me if you need anything else. I rather dragged you around today. Is that all right? Hmm, despite appearances, you're tough. Personally, I'm more worried about you. Ah, uh, I'm fine. It's getting dark. You should hurry home. The couple is Chisa, Yukizome, and Kyosuke Minata, the other couple. Oh, okay, okay. I will look them up to see if I can find some cute fan art of them. I always, I love, I love looking up cute fan art. Okay, goodbye. Right. Goodbye, hello. It's me again. It's me again. Have some stomach medicine. Be my friend. Hello. Do you have a favorite ship in the game, Vyra? Good day. Sorry, but something I can take along for it? Hmm? I don't mind, but do you find this entertaining? I think young... Yeah, I somehow kind of knew it. I somehow I somehow knew that even though Kendo was like, Bye, thank you for the stream. That you would come back for the very last batch. I just had this feeling. And it came true. <laughs> okay, Kendo, let's get this over with! My last poppy rock! Of the forever, because I'm I'm not buying more. So, okay, let's do this. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get everything in the spoon. I don't care how big, how much it is. I'm gonna pour everything in the spoon right now. Okay, well, let me just do this. Holy cow! Oh oh my, oh oh my gosh! There's so much. Ah, okay, I have like. FYI, I have like an entire spoonful. I miscalculated. I have like an entire spoonful of pop rocks. All right, here, here it goes. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I spilled a little. I spilled a little bit. Oh gosh, I have to vacuum my room after this. I don't want ants. <laughs> oh, they're so powdery. They're so powdery. They're so powdery. <laughs> Oh my god, they're like sand! <laughs> oh my god, it's getting everywhere! It's getting everywhere! It's going down my throat! It's so powdery! <laughs> oh! Oh! I need water. I need water. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, so the last spoonful was actually not that poppy, but it was very finely grained sand. So it was going everywhere. It was like falling down my throat and like falling underneath my tongue. It was everywhere. And with that, 
We are done with the pop rocks. Let me take away. Let me. Give me a second. Let me take off that redeem. Thank you, Kendo, for using all the redeem of the pop rocks because it's gone now. Where the pop rock redeem? Nom some. It's gone. It was like eating sand. Poppy sand. Makoto and Kyoko, it's cute. Oh, it's not... It was not canon. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll still look up if there's a uh, fan art. Yeah, it was okay. It was an interesting experience. This bag of Pop Rocks lasted me a lot longer than I expected it would. I got it for my 12-hour stream. So where I had... I tried like a small bit of it. And then I wasn't sure what to do with it afterwards. It sat in my room for like a month. So I turned it into a redeem, so I'll have the motivation to finish it. Who would have thought that Kendo would be the one to finish it for me? So thank you, Kendo. No more puppy rocks. Next time I try anything else, it, it might be the warheads if it goes on sale. But <clears throat> I'm gonna have to vacuum my room. I'm pretty sure I spat like some pop rocks all over near me. It's. Uh, I need some water. I need some more water. It's really sweet. The, the powdery, the, the sand powdery part of it was really sweet. I guess it is candy. It's really fun being with you, Takamiya. Hmm. Well, very well then. Let's go. What is it that happened today, Yasune? <gasps> what is it that has happened today? Ah, sorry, Takamiya. Your voice is so low, my old ears can't pick it up too well. Ugh, <sighs> sorry. Who? Huh? Forget it! Please tell me what you called for! <sighs> yes, yes, Sakiko hasn't come back. She's a curious cat who goes all over, so I'm afraid she might have gotten lost. Can you... Can you track her caller with your bit phone? Phone phone? Well, it's just a plain collar anyway. Oh, and with two bells, too. Hmm. If you have a picture, send it to me. Er, uh, like this, is it? Yes, that's fine. So this is the one. Let's go, boy. <laughs> we'll definitely find her, Granny. <gasps> Thank you, dears. Hmm. It seemed likely a cat would go to a park. Well, even cats have different personalities. Yeah, I don't go to parks. That's where all the grass are. Know your foe to protect their movement, even if your foe is a feline. But what if I'm not feline like it? <clears throat> hey, there's a cat. But it's striped, so that's not it. But maybe it knows something. Knows something? It's a cat. Even if I can't understand it, I can look at its memories. I've actually never cared for a cat before. I haven't had a lot of experience taking care of anything bigger than a hamster, but I did used to kind of babysit my my neighbor's cat. Like when they went on vacation, we went to their place every day to make sure there's food and water for their cat. But other than that, we didn't really do anything else. But the cat was so cute. Every time we went to their place, the cat would run out of the room to see if like their her humans are back. And when she saw it was us, she always looks so disappointed and she'll turn around and walk away. Like every time I open the door, like or I, her name was Missy. I was like, hi, Missy. She's like, meow, 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 meow. Oh, it's you. And like she turns around and walks away. Yeah, cat. The cat gave me the cold shoulder every day, but I loved her so much. She was so cute. Even though I always disappointed her with my sheer existence. Story of my life. I don't understand a word you said. Then I'll do just do it to show you. Okay, please hold down that cat for me. Right, sure. Wait, Ink Slime, have you had breakfast yet? Why did you put on gloves? Oh yeah, he's allergic to cats. I'm allergic. It's not too severe though. There, is that it? Meow. <laughs> hey, don't struggle. Uh... I don't think they like you touching their sides. Push a little more lightly somewhere else. Like this? Meow. Great. Now keep it still. Uh, sh sure. Uh. It met a cat wearing bells and had a fight, it seems. The strangers... Wait, they have weapons? I didn't know they fight. 
I don't know. What is the strangest weapon? Can I see that photo again? Here it is. Yeah, that's the one. She left the park but seemed tired, so she can't have gone too far. Let's hurry then. Isn't that her? Wait. Yes, no doubt about it. She seems to be showing no fatigue at all. Can you elaborate how do you fight with toilet paper? I can understand fighting with toilet paper by taking it away from the washroom. That will surely give your opponents a very crappy time. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's take her back. Heavy! Oh boy! I'll carry her. It's getting dark anyway. You should go home. The roads here are especially vexing around here. It's a spoiler on how they use the toilet paper to attack? Yeah, sure. Because you can't even strangle people with them. They're, unless they're like, what, eight ply? <laughs> I, I'm just thinking of like the thickest toilet paper ever, but usually they're like one or two plies, right? I'll take that cat to Yasune's place myself. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's give her more stomach medicine. Good day. Thanks for your help before. I'm just glad I could be useful. Going somewhere else today? No, nothing at the moment. Wow, that's rare for you. <laughs> it's nice not to be so busy, yes. <laughs> then how about we talk? In the rice paddy over there. <laughs> uh, very well. Do all police these days go to and fro as much as you do, Takamiya? Hmm, well... When a crime is committed, the perp can easily be identified these days. That reminds me of the plot in... Psychopaths. I know there's an anime and a game, and I've never watched or played either, but I know that it's the general premise of Psychopaths. My friend really, really likes that game, and she always recommends that, I, recommends that I play it, but I just never got around to for some reason. Nowhere for them to run. It's very convenient. Thanks to Bitphones and the Master Program. But is it just you who responds to citizen odd jobs? Perhaps, in part, it's that I don't have any other work. But also, I've got an old friend who's very nosy. Maybe she's rubbed off on me. Oh gee, I wonder who you're talking about. Maybe it has to do with the previous side quest we did. Of course, she's also someone who causes me a lot of worry. Ah, uh, I see. Even the Master Program isn't perfect. It's unfortunate that humans have to fill in the gaps. Mm. Well, it used to be... It used to be to make up for what humans lacked and to save us time and such. Dependence on convenience can be a problem in itself. How are you to handle it when what you're relying on is imperfect? <laughs> I see. So you're taking it upon yourself to take care of people's problems at times like that. <gasps> it, it's not like I'm trying to save you or anything. Don't get the wrong idea, citizen. Aren't you? Sh sure. This boy's a little hard to deal with. Takamiya's probably the type who can't turn down a request. Oh yeah, so I have a request for you too. What is it? Please be my friend. Was that the aim of following me around? If you say no, holy Nanashi! I'll just dive into this patty. No, I mean, I didn't say no. Ah, uh, here. Oh, snap, we actually did it. Yay, thank you very much. <laughs> well, good. Well, good to know you. You can have this too, I suppose. You think candy will make me happy since I'm a kid? Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'll help if you ever need anything. <laughs> That's sort of my job, but you are helpful. Thanks. Okay, let's befriend one more person in this stream, and I know exactly who I want to befriend. I want to befriend the Miko. I want to befriend the Miko because they're like a pair, right? Oh, they wish they were a pair. Where, where, where is she? 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 Where's the Jinja? Where's the shrine? Where's the shrine? Wait, where's the shrine? Am I lost? This place has like three screens. No. Yes, I want to befriend her before before uh, like uh, the, like before the stream ends today. Ah, uh, good day. What do you like? 
This is the shrine maiden Hakuhi. She's really calm and seems pretty gullible. She likes things with thick flavor and things good for your health, probably. Things good for your health. Uh, good. What is good for your health? Thick flavor and good. Do you like lettuce? Lettuce is pretty thick. Good for your health. What's good for your health? I don't know. I don't eat those stuff. Snack scarf. Are breadcrumbs good for your health? Vacation? That's not good for your health, though. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna think... A candy for people who like an intense lettuce smell. Lettuce is conventionally healthy, so I'm guessing... Maybe try tea? Is there tea? Oh, let me see. Oh, there's flower tea. Let me try it. Let me try it. Oh, okay. She gave a very generic answer, which means it's not her favorite. If she likes whatever you gave her, she'll give an answer specific to what you gave her. I'm gonna try the lettuce. Oh, I was wrong too. Okay, something that is very heavy. Uh, maybe it's a can... Was she like... Does candy count? Heavy Star Ramen. It's candy, but a bag of it is really dense and filling. Does it count as heavy flavor? Let me see what else is there. Magazine about marriage, bunny notepad, muscle proteins. Yeah! Yeah, of course I do. You! <laughs> but yes, I'm, I'm trying to make my last friend before uh, before ending the stream today. Why are you dot Wait, why are why you do why, why that response, JDO? Why are you dot 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 response? Uh, what else? What else? Snacks with fortune inside. Um, cola. I'm. I, I honestly don't know what is healthy. Hmm. I don't know. You haven't thrown presents. Oh, oh, okay. What What do you want me to throw at you? What do you want me to throw at you? Okay, I'm gonna try the heavy star ramen. Oh <gasps> yes, I got it right. Oh my, heavy star ramen. I'm told my sense of taste is as dull as I am. But I find this quite delicious. Thank you very much. I don't know. I didn't think... <laughs> Remember when you redeemed the art redeem GDO? And you just like wrote some like gibberish? And then I was like, okay, what do you want me to draw? And then you were like, I don't know. I didn't think I'll get this far. <laughs> you were like, it's just a placeholder. And it took you like a minute to think of what to draw. I like to imagine if you ever buy a lottery and you win and people are like, what are you gonna do with the, like a $1 million now that you won it, Jideo? And you'd be like, I don't know. I didn't think I will get this far. <laughs> but you buy the lottery like every week though. Yeah, I know, but I didn't think I would actually win. <laughs> I, I've never bought lottery tickets before. I just want art. I don't know what art. That is fair. It's like when you're hungry. Oh, care to share? Care to share like... What are some of the things you would do with a million dollars that would be very easy? Because that is a lot of money. Unless you buy a house, then yeah, that's a million dollars gone in like one blink. Good day. I see you've been coming by the shrine. It's unusual to see young ones these days. I applaud your pio 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 Pioiness? House and then travel? Would travel cost you that much money though? I guess the house would probably take most of the money. But I, I guess if you like do like um what's it called? First class planes and like five star hotels and you eat like wagyu, then I can see how the money can go pretty quickly. No, I just wanna be friends with you, Hakuhi. How do you pronounce it though? Pioisness? Oh, <laughs> that's great. Can I really be your friend? I'm sort of begging you to be. <laughs> How funny. Yes, that's absolutely fine. Piousness. Oh shoot, I said it totally wrong. I was like, Piousness. Oh, that's a pie. Oh yeah, P.I. pie. I feel like I would invest my earnings. That's really smart, Vyra. Like they say, they say if you win the lottery, the first thing you should do is not tell everybody you know for your own safety and immediately like find like a legal official to help you deal with that money. Because I read stories on how when people win the lottery, they go kind of like cray cray because they don't know what to do with it and they end up going in debt because they overspent the money they won. 
Um, well, I hope that you can invest in yourself first, like Judy. Like, do all the things you want to do. Buy all the things you want to buy. All those things. And then if you have some leftovers, then... Yeah. Although, I'm saying that, but I'm using the mic that you got me. Like, look. I'm, like, saying that. I'm looking at the mic. <laughs> That's literally named Jideo Mike. <laughs> How funny. Yes, that's absolutely fine. Oh? Whoa, a phone call? Answer it. I can be next in line. No, more like the very end of the line. I can't just be... Gideo! No, you, you, should, you should use it to eat more meals. Eat more than peanuts! Is that so? Speaking of which, did you eat today, Gideo? Like, did you eat like a legit meal today? Excuse me. Yes, hello? Oh, you had oh, what's in it? What what's in it? I like the meatball marinara with cheese and toasted six inch on Italian bread. Uh, I'm sorry, my memory's awful lately. Middle school? Oh, is this Takada? Oh, really? Wow, your voice has changed a lot. And cookies? Oh yeah, I know they're famous for. I think are they famous? I don't know, but I know they have cookies. <laughs> That's true. It's been years now. But everyone buddy changes, you know? An accident? Oh, oh, she's about to get scammed! She's about to get scammed! Oh, that's not good. Yes, yes. Hmm. Oh my, I see. All right. Yes, of course. Oh, that day would be fine. <laughs> yes, goodbye. I think it's a scam. Who was calling? Oh, Takada is a friend of mine who changed schools. Now they're in the hospital after a traffic accident and have no money. So they asked how much I could lend. Um... What's the matter? Are you sure that wasn't a swindler? Swindler? A bad guy who takes advantage of nice people. I hear there's been a lot less of that ever since they started using the master program, but... The types who go in person to take money are still around. Though, of course, if you're not super gullible, you can trace them from the log data. I see. To think anyone would trick people in this age. No, to think they exist in the world at all. The other day, my dad, so he has has a smartphone, but he actually got a smartphone pretty recently in the last two, three years or so. Before, he was also using a, a brick phone like mine, then he upgraded, but he doesn't really know how to use text messages. The other day, he was like, oh, Mika, can you help me check if this text message is legit i'm like what what is it and i took a look and it was like hello generic customer you have a tax rebate of like 200 dollars click this link and sign in to get your money and he's like should i do it i'm like no he's like really but it says i'll get 200 dollars i'm like dad remember when we were watching the news and they report on like people getting scammed like a lot of money and you're like oh how can they be so careless and get scammed well you were about to get scammed i know he was like but it says there's like a tax rebate of like 200 dollars i'm like dad that's how they get you they will never send you a text message to give you money and he's like but the other day i got like a text message from my phone provider and that's legit yeah okay yeah but that was just notifying you something they're not telling you to log in from the phone <laughs> But I'm still really glad that he actually came to me to make sure before clicking it. But I was like, just flashbacking because, okay. My dad has a real, real big issue with hindsight bias. And I think a lot of people do. But whenever the news report on like, oh, this elderly lady, uh, someone was impersonating her grandson um, and called her and asked her for like, I don't know, $100,000. So she took out a loan and then found out that was not her grandson. And then my dad would be like, oh, I don't see how can she fall for that. It's just so obvious. And then I'm like, dad, you see now? You see how it's not very obvious? Like they, are, these people are experts in tricking you and making you think they're legit, okay? So he ate a little bit of humble pie that day, but I, I made sure not to shame him, but just reminded him, you see how legit it can look? To the point where you had to ask me to make sure. They would never tell. I know. Yeah. And even if they call you, they should be giving you all the information. Like, they should never... Genio! <laughs> well, I'm sure your grandma, your grandma will probably, like, gladly give you the money, though. Did I ever tell you guys a story of how I tried to swindle my parents for money when I was, like, eight years old? 
That's actually a bit of a shameful story. My mom sees it as a heartwarming story, but I'm actually deeply ashamed of this story. But let me know if you want to hear it. Has this sort of thing happened before? Let's see. Well, last time I lent someone... Oh, okay. So when I was um eight years old, me and another other friend, we wanted some money to buy who knows what. I don't even remember what we want to buy. So we came up with this brilliant plan. We pretended we were in a club. We pretended we joined a club where... We... Patreon what? Well, well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> uh, and I have told this story before, so it might sound familiar to some. But we pretended that we joined a club that does fundraising activities for our club. And you know how Girl Scouts sell cookies, right? So we came up with this brilliant idea of painting rocks and selling them to our parents and claiming it was a fundraising activity. So when I said rock, I just mean like little pebbles. We picked up little pebbles all in the playground and we grabbed some paint and we just painted them in the, like random colors and we took them home and I was like showing it to my mom and I was like, mom, this is for like a fundraising activity for our club. Uh, can, do you want to buy our rocks for like $10? She's like, yeah, of course, honey. Of course I would support your club. So then I like sold her my painted rocks and we got the money. I think we only did it once before we got bored because we actually had to work for it, right? Yeah, we sold our rocks. We, we painted them though. And then th that was the end of that. Then many years later, I felt bad. So I confessed to my mom. I was like, mom, you know, <laughs> I know I was I'm very ashamed. I years later, I told my mom, mom, I have a confession. I was never part of a club. We just painted random rocks and sold it to you because we wanted to swindle you for money. And you know what she said? She's like, yeah, I know. What? I knew, I knew you weren't part of a club. Like I would know if you joined a club. You were eight years old, okay? Like I would know. Then why do you still buy those rocks from us? She's like, because like you needed money. That's fine. And besides, like I got to keep the rocks. And you know what? To this day, she still displays the rocks. The, we have like this little display cabinet where she puts uh, like pretty stuff, like a nice, like cute little glass art or like seashells. And there's a couple of the rocks that I painted when I was eight years old. It, it's still there. Like when I when I walk past it, I still see it. It's so sweet. I, I love my mom so much, but I feel bad that I swindled her. But she actually, you know what she said? She's like, you know, $10 was actually a small price to pay because the rocks you painted for me were priceless. And I still have it to this day. And she really does. It's actually, it's... I can take a picture if you ever want to see it. They're really ugly. They're just like ugly rocks with paint on it. <laughs> Reminds me of a story from Vegas where people got casino chips and painted them different colors. Bro, that's... That's so evil, but so genius. Wait, did I say the word wrong? It's, it's Windle, right? I didn't say the word wrong. To this day, I never asked like, uh, Oh, slushy man. Oh, that's good. Yeah, my mom... A lot of times as a kid, I thought I did things to outsmart my mom. And then I feel guilt. What? How do you say it? If it's not swindle, how do you say it? But, but, but I've been saying that my whole life. <laughs> Let's see. Well, last time I lent someone some money, I did get it back. Yeah, swindle. How am I saying it swindle wrong? How much did you lend and how much did you get back? Rhymes with swim. Swindle? Swindle? Oh, oh my macro! <laughs> Not again! Not again! Okay, now I'm like, I'm like just starting to wonder of all the words that I've been saying my whole life, how many are wrong? Okay, it's not swin swindle, swindle, swindle. Oh, okay, I, I will try to remember that. Thank you for letting me know. No wonder Fruit Salad Puncher was like, Swindle! Sw thank you, thank you. Err, uh, I forget. I got back 50,000 yen? Or 30,000? Uh, sounds likely that she got back less than what she gave out. You seem pretty forgetful. People do often call me slow-witted. Oh yes, I still have some cleaning to do. Oh, sorry to bother you. I'll be leaving now. It's no problem. Come again anytime.
Any time is in right now. Is now a good time? Yep, okay, okay. Yeah, let's give her more heavy star ramen. I'm still so sad that I couldn't fall in love with ramen. They always look so good in anime, but I, I just I just couldn't like it. Hello! Oh, good day. You look well. So do you, Hakuhi. Whoops! Oh, I'm sorry. Give me a moment. Hello? Yes, that's right. Oh, really? <laughs> that's great. Yes, that's fine. Today, wasn't it? Uh, how much was it? Oh, yes. That sum of money is fine. Yeah, she does. She does. She does ara ara. She does it really, really well, too. Now I want to hear you do it, Jideo. It's about an hour from here, I believe. Yes, yes. All right, excuse me. Uh... Same person who called before? Yes, that's right. You've done it before? Well, I want to hear you do it again. We arranged to meet today. Eh? With like all your heart and passion. What? You're really going to meet them? Well, yes. What, with Jideo? Er, do you mind if I tag along? Like, watching from behind a building or something? Good. Why, you shouldn't do things like that. We promised to meet alone. Mm. Right, got it. Sorry. No, that wasn't an ara ara pastry. That was like... It was your sound alert, right? But it wasn't an ara ara. It was like another... I forgot what we said, but it was a different sound bit. And I had to Google. I had to like go check what it said. You did what? But the one that we did was another one, right? The one based on your sound alert? I need to be going now. Did you pay me to do it? Wait. But I didn't do it though, right? Because I, I don't remember you doing it. Came along anyway because I'm worried. Better be careful not to be seen. Mm. Because Misana Jama. I did? Wow, I have like no memory of doing that. I actually have no memory. Uh, you get it? What do you mean you get it? You're not gonna... Wait, I, I don't think it was clipped. You weren't afraid to do it because it was for kids. Demer's outrage was then? Then R R? I, I thought it was something else. Wait, I have some vague memory. Mm. Oh. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I'll, I'll trust you for it. I'll, I'll trust your word on that. Because Misanaja might get mad. Oh, you're a real big help. Thank you. Here you go. <laughs> no! I think Gamers Outreach followed you, though. Like, they, they didn't follow me, but they followed you. So you must have been doing... You must have Arad very correctly. Or the way they like it. <laughs> there he is! Yeah! That's so nice! I was like, oh, so nice. Was it during... I don't remember which stream that was during. I don't think it was during the... The uh, mortuary, mortuary assistant. I don't think that's the... It was maybe another one. Oh yeah, mortuary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will this be enough? Oh, there's no need for thanks for an old friend. I think I'll be able to get well with this. Well, I'm taking my leave. Did you ever play that game again, Pastry? And did you ever... Successfully exorcise uh, a demon. Take care with your injuries. Whoops, gotta hide. Mm. Hakuhi really gave it to him. I mean, maybe he's really an old friend. You can't judge books by their cover. But then again, I can read their minds. Really fooled her, didn't I? Glad I found this sucker. Got no money problems for a while now. He is a swine swindler. Okay, well. The cover was indicative of the contents. But I can't record people's thoughts. Hakuhi might not believe me. Man, I gotta think about this. Oh, the trains get crowded around now. I gotta get home. I'll think of something later. Later is in now! I was watching a clip of someone playing Phasmophobia and they asked their friend, Do you think I care while holding the OG, OG, OG board? And the thing he went to the no, and the ghost started hunting. Wait, the ghost like went to kill them? Hello. Good day. Sorry, but I'm heading out now. 
Do you have... Did you have any urgent business? Eh? No, uh... I'm fine. Where would you be going? The same place as before. Apparently, it wasn't quite enough money. <gasps> the swi swindler! Eh? Additional fees? Hmm, something like that? Often, medical procedures cost more than you expect. Uh, uh sure. B be careful. Mm. Ah, it's him! I see. So you'll go after her, right? Why did you not tell me this sooner? Eh, because you're almost never here. You're always doing rounds. The Ouija board is how people say they communicate with... I heard... I heard that um, in Phasmophobia, the ghost is actually listening to your mic. So if you say their name, they will it will actually anger them. Or if you say words like, I'm scared, like they will like be more aggressive. That's so scary because I was playing... Well, not playing. I watched David play, play it once and for about 15 minutes before I got too scared. But he was like... I think her name was Betty. He's like, Betty, give us a sign. Betty, are you here? And I'm like, oh my gosh, why are you talking to her? And he's like, because she's actually listening. I'm like, she's listening? That's so scary. Because the usual suspects here have been running all over every day as it is. You got a ghost with the name Michael Jackson? Did you survive Michael Jackson? M my stomach. Did you need medicine? No, I've got my own. We should hurry. It's best we catch him red-handed. I'll come with. That's the guy! Hakuhi too. I got a ghost one name because... Jideo! Okay, can you describe how was she terrifying this ghost named Mikashiyu? Tell me more about her. So, did you bring it? Yes, here you go. What's in, what's in that bag? Mm. Uh, money? Seems like about a hundred thousand yen. A hundred thousand? Last time it was double that. It's the second time? Hakuhi, you... Now! She's handing it over! You there, in the black. I want to have a talk with you. Good luck, Takamiya. Wow! He jumped him! Wild! Straight to the cuffs. I've only seen those on TV. Well, but I have some fake ones at home. She kept saying she was here to entertain us. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, what was she doing that was draining your life force? <laughs> Maybe that was part of the entertainment. Phew, thank you for your cooperation. I'm an old friend of hers, I told you. I'm not doing anything wrong! Shut it! We'll walk it- We'll talk it at the station. We'll- Sorry, we'll talk at the station. I happen to- She was hypnotizing everyone? Okay. Jideo, look, look into my eyes. You will be my friend. You will be my friend. You will be my friend. <laughs> Is it working? You will be my friend. We will collab again. Because you are my friend. Got him. <laughs> boop. Was that like a yes boop or a no boop? Okay, Vyra, I'll, I'll hypnotize you too. Vyra, you will make mac and cheese. You'll make delicious mac and cheese. And you will post a picture to show me your delicious mac and cheese. Got him. I happen to know being from the same school as her. But first things first, Takata is a woman! Huh? Huh? I was tricked? Uh, yeah, sorry. I see. I should have been more wary. Yay! I love to see it. Mm. Weekend, but today's only Tuesday. I was got. It was a yes boot, but I'm gonna watch you slowly. You're kind of sus. Oh, sure, watch me slowly. Watch me very closely, Jideo. Keep watching. You're my friend. You're my friend. Okay, now I'm starting to creep myself out. I'll stop. <laughs> Now let me see, if I am to hypnotize Jideo, what would I make you do? I would... Eat two meals tomorrow. Eat two meals tomorrow. <laughs> Peanuts don't count. Peanuts don't count. 
But I have two. You know, okay. you know, I was gonna do a random animal fact, but realize it might sound insulting, but and related to you. But do you know cows have multiple stomachs? It's just saying. That's why cow poopy is like a lot more uh. Like bad that than horse poopy because like cow poopy is like it went through a lot of stomach and then uh, like so that's why it's like digested really well but like horse poopy oh okay I have not but I know horse poopy is like they're used as manure and I actually I have seen horse poop poopy before and they're actually very dry they don't I mean it's poop so it's not gonna look beautiful but they're not like disgusting and like people use them as manure so the difference so even though horse and cows both eat grass, their poopy is very different. There's your poopy fact of the day. Sorry, that was such a crappy way to say it. It's a farm slime. Wait, you own, you own a cow? Okay, I, uh, that, that caught me by surprise. I didn't know that. Poopy, yeah, poopy, poopy. I've seen horses before, so I've seen horsey poop. I have never seen cow poopy, but I have seen cows before. Wow, that incident was full of surprises. Oh, should we go back together? What? Are you eating something right now? You know, one time I was like eating curry and then my friend was talking about poopy. My grandparents own cows for a lot. They sold oh! I, they, they say cows are actually very affectionate. Like, do you befriend any of them? Although it might be a bit difficult to befriend them if they're for slaughter. But if it's for milk, they, they'll stick around a bit longer. No, I need to reflect. Ah, good day. You know, there's a, I think there's like a Switch game where you can uh, simulate uh, milking a cow. Well, you know what they say? Say what? How? Oh? Mm. Wow, being lectured? Don't think I can step in. Better hide over here. Are you listening to me? Yes, I'm sorry. I've always bothered you time and again. You can't spell slaughter without laughter. Bro. Bro. <laughs> where did where did that come from? Didn't they say manslaughter is like man's laughter? You can't tell funeral <laughs> you can't tell funeral of Okay, well you can't You can't ink slime without you can't ink slime without me. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We were talking about poopy and now we're talking about murders. It it went that away. Don't worry about bothering me. Don't worry about bothering me. You know, I have this uncanny ability. Can I talk a little bit more about poopy? Yes. I don't know why as a child, I always have this uncanny ability that whenever I see a dog like on the streets and I look at them, they start pooping. I don't know why. I've seen so much dogs pooping. Like I will like look at them and they just immediately start pooping. I'm like, bro, why? And then a few of them got offended that I looked at them when they're pooping and they start barking at me. And I'm like, bro, you were clearly not pooping when I looked at you. You only started pooping when I looked at you, okay? Don't get mad at me for something that you choose to do. Like they legit barked at me. I'm like, okay, sorry. I'm saying you should worry about yourself. Eh, uh, yes, okay. Oh my, Taka, your sleeve is frayed. <laughs> hmm, is it? And the left sleeve, all over. Taka, please take care of yourself too. Bro, when I was visiting Effie and Poppy, their dog wouldn't poop. What? Because we weren't at his usual pooping place. Wait, I have a question. Were you, were you guys staying somewhere else for five days? What do you mean by he wasn't at his normal pooping place? Like, why... Why was he not at his usual pooping place? Ugh! Uh, apologies. Hmm? Excuse me. This is the Manedangnuki station. I died in Dash? Again? Even after the security was improved? Oh no! So the dog is a type that couldn't poop in like a foreign toilet? He held his poop in for five days? Was he bloated? Poor baby! I can already imagine that when he went home, the sheer adventure he went through with his bowels. You forgot? Damn it, I'm coming over! Hakuhi, make sure you watch yourself! 
Okay, good luck with your work. Oh, Nanashi. I didn't see you there. Sorry for not noticing. Mm. It's fine. You really got lectured there. Well, yes. It's all my own failings to blame. You should, you should be a little more suspicious of others. I'm one to talk, but... No, you're right. I must be more careful. <laughs> By the way, I hear cats grow up to be tigers. Oh, I've never heard that before. I see. So that's why tigers are considered cats. So which character is Mika? But there's, it's not a self-insert game, so... I like to think I have a little bit more self-awareness than Nanashi, and also he's a little bit of a pervert. And all the other characters are so distinctive and special. Hmm? Nani? Okay, now I'm gonna feel guilty about that. So... Which character would Mika be? I've only met like a couple... Uh, there's like, I think 40 characters. I've only met about a quarter, so... Right now, no... Um, I think the problem, Ink Slime, is I don't usually think about myself a lot, so I never really think about who resembles me. I know, right? This game, you can befriend... Okay, there's like eight... There's eight mandatory friends and 32 optional friend characters. And each character has like unique voice acting. There's an opening movie for two dollars. This game was like th like three dollars. No, 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 no. It means you have a lot of like self awareness. I don't have a lot. That's why I really struggle when I'm asked to describe myself, or or when people like ask me like like what you ask like who do you think you would be, and then I struggle because I don't think about myself. And so I'm like, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Like, if you ask me, that's why I don't even have have a brand or any lore. That's why. That's why when people are like, um, like, oh, like when I get raided and I'm supposed to introduce myself, I'm like, hi, I'm Mika. I, I, I exist. I stream, and that's it. Like, I have no idea how to describe myself because I don't think about myself enough. <laughs> And I don't have lore, and I don't have a brand, I don't- I don't really identify as anything, so... It's- I, I just end up doing a really awkward intro, just saying, Hi, I'm Mika, I'm a streamer, I suck at games, but I like them. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Did you? Hmm. Well, I think I should answer this question after I've met enough characters, because right now... I've only met, like, eight? That is true, Jideo is Jideo. Judeo is Judeo. What about you, Ink Slime? Oh, oh, here. How about I ask this question instead? In One Bit Heart, if you give item like presents that they like, the character will become your friend. If you two were in this game, or anybody watching the chat, if you guys were in this game, and I want to befriend you, and I want to spam presents at you, what should I throw at you? Like, what presents can I spam at you to make you be my friend if you were in this game? So you and Takamiya went to the same middle school? That's right! And Shijang too! Shijang? Oh, I just remembered something! Didn't you want to be friends? Sorry, it completely slipped my mind! Uh, oh yeah! Agreed! Mountain Dew and burgers? Smeh! Yeah! But, Jideo... Uh, can I throw a lot of burg- Like, if I throw 10 at you, can you eat them all? Presents for me? To spam at me? Oh, okay, so throw dad jokes at Vyra? Noise. That I can handle. <gasps> Jideo, I won't- I won't just throw Mountain Dew at you. I will throw... Baja Blast! The pineapple one, because you said you like that one, right? Yes! I befriended Hakuhi! See, they all have unique voice acting, and this game is like $3. What the heck? All the kinds? Is there a lot of Baja Blast? Was this all I needed to do? I look forward to seeing more of you. Okay, take care now. You too, Nanashi. Here's one of our charm. Oh, okay. It's okay, Ink Slime. You know what? Then I will make the decision. I'll throw popcorn chicken at you, okay? Because we're playing the KFC dating game on Thursday, so I'll throw popcorn chicken at you to be relevant. I need to get a case of Baja Blast or something with my walk. It was actually really nice. I really enjoyed the Baja Blast. There's a lot of Mountain Dews, Baja Blast. Ah, uh, 
Baja Blast is the only Mountain Dew I've ever had, but I did really enjoy it. Like, the one I had was, I think, the most generic flavor. It tasted like Sour Patch Kids, but with, like, carbonated Sour Patch Kids. Yeah! Okay, I'll throw popcorn chicken at you then. Here's one of our charms. May God watch over you. Smack ya! Okay. Let me just save. And let me save. Okay. With this, we have... So next time we stream, we'll be able to proceed with the main story because we've made eight friends between the chapters. Smack ya! Okay, let's find some, someone to raid. And again, reminder that on Thursday... Uh, my Thursday... At 6.30 PST, me and Ink Slime are gonna be playing the KFC dating game called... <clears throat> I love you, Colonel Sanders! Something about finger-licking... Whatever game, I forgot. I forgot the second part of the tagline. Yeah, we be eating chicken. It's gonna be... We should, we should actually be eating KFC during this stream, but I realize it's a bit early for you, Ink Slime, so maybe eating fried chicken right off the bat is not the best thing. Kendo, do you not like KFC? Today, when I was late for work, I quoted Kakashi. I'm sorry I got lost on the path of life. KFC as soon as I get... Why not do it in bed, Ink Slime? You should... You should... You should do it in bed. Just hold your phone. <laughs> stream while in bed. We were gonna say... I was joking with Ink Slime that we should do a sleep stream. Where we do... We, we're just like laying in bed and sleeping. <laughs> Make a bet of KFC. That is the most oily thing I've ever heard in my life. Speaking of which, after this, I have to clean up my, my room because I think I spilled pop rocks like everywhere. It, it was so poppy. So poppy. Okay, let's see who we can raid. Or french fries? Okay, let me just... I think a lot of people are streaming right now, so let me just check my host. Uh, wait, so Lei is still streaming? For five hours? Holy cow. Uh, you know what? Okay, let's go raid so... I don't know. Or, okay, let me see how long have Robert been streaming. Because Soleil might be ending. Oh, she's going for another hour? Okay. If she's going for another hour, then let's rate Soleil. Acha. Acha. Um, okay. Thank you so much again, everybody, for coming today. I had a lot of fun, and I learned a lot of new stuff. For better or for worse. Uh, let's go say hi to Soleil. And we hoped... Uh, pastry? <laughs> well, it's too late. We're raiding so late. Uh, yeah. Hopefully see you Thursday. Yeah, take care, Vyra. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.